いらっしゃいませお客様にいらっしゃいませようこそ先まだ来たで三社員ようこそめっちゃタイプで
こちらになります。レディースグラス。失礼します。こちらになります。失礼いたしました。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。お待たせ。ご延長はいかがでしょう。ありがとう。ご延長はいかがでしょうありがとうございますありがとうございますありがとうございます
Check out the Mars Club, Club Mars, whatever. Um, because in this little mini game, we do little like I don't know, club offs. I guess is the I'm sure there's like a better word for a club battle. I don't know. Um, once we are in a club's customer base long enough. We have to go check them out and then they'll like challenge us. I could have done that off stream because I was playing a little bit of the cabaret club stuff, but I didn't want to. I was like, eh, I should probably save the important stuff for for stream. I mean, unless this is side uh, quest stuff still. Oh, it's really flashy. Yeah, it's a damn eyesore. It hurts to look at it. Hey, someone's coming. Thank you very much. See you soon, I hope, Tabata-san. Yeah, of course. I'll be back as soon as I can make it, Aichan. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll be waiting for you. Uh? Damn, I did that deadbeat a favor and sent I to his table, but he didn't spend Jack. Uh? You know, son. Uh? Who the hell does he think he is treating I like that? She's the number one girl at Club Mars. I don't want you to deal with any cheapskates like that louse anymore, got it? Uh, but Tabata son is a long time regular and he mentioned his finances were tight this month. Cry me a river, if he had got the cash now, he's useless. Businesses don't run on kindness to poor parasites. <laughs> I don't want you serving the fat cats, cause you know, it makes the world go around money, money, and more money. Oi. Listen up, maggot. We'll need a higher-end liquor in the club. Let's pimp out the interior. Use gold leaf or something. Yes, sir. What's with this Hino guy? He's got another thing coming if he's that fixated on cash. Hi. Hino thinks money can solve anything, including how to rub call, uh, Club Mars as a business. So he spends as much time as he thinks he needs to get more customers in and become a popular club. He's actually spent a small fortune to attract girls from the other clubs. That's why the quality of his talent really sets the bar. Well, it's not that quality. It's going to be our first <laughs> cabaret battle, so how good could he be? The girl who's undisputed number one at Club Mars is I. He's been working there for a long time. She's the number one at Club Mars, eh? Did he not drag her in a gold paved road, too? <laughs> No, she seems to be the lone exception. Apparently, she simply wanted to work at a cabaret club and just applied. The girl who walks in off the street winds up making more money than the girls who spent tons of money to recruit. Irony of it all. Apart from the course, you can't expect girls who betray their clubs for cold or cash to provide excellent customer service. That girl, she seems so nice. She's cute, too. I wish a girl like that would come and work for us. Yuki and the others are a bit plain. Hey, don't diss my girl Yuki like Boy. that. Watch it. You say that kind of stuff in front of Yuki and you're dead me. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Oh. Do you know them, sir? Yeah. No, just two buzzing flies who need to be swatted. Here's another job for you. Go exterminate them. Yes, sir. Let's go, I. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Um, are we having an issue with bugs in the club? I'm not gonna have to hey. fight. There's three waiters? Oh, fuck. What are we gonna do, Majima-san? I'm just gonna break dance. Don't worry about it. You will never beat these moves, sirs. Ex 
Excuse you? Just kicking like a madman, blatantly missing them. Man, I had the rudest little guess last night. My only arrival. I, they've taken a while, so I'm like, okay, I should go do some laundry. And then I go and I see that they, that somebody's waiting. So I go out there and I'm like, hey, sorry, I hope you weren't waiting long. You checking in? And they're like, obviously. And then they yell at me because they were waiting outside for three minutes and it's really cold out. I'm like, well, obviously I did it on purpose. Obviously I left you out there just because I thought it was funny. Clearly. Are you okay? I'll live. You know, for Bars Club, one of the five stars. Oh. He's gonna be easy to get rid of. I'm pretty confident. I, the one I played the mini game a bit, but I didn't go around to see if we got any um any new hostesses. Hi. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, a lot of them we unlock from just doing sub stories. I know the doll. The doll story has a hostess. It's not the kid. Don't worry, it's her mom. So I want to go finish that up once we play another round of uh, the cabaret club. Hopefully the kid's waiting outside the arcade. I feel like we're almost done with it. She's already calling us daddy. Uh -huh. Your eye from Hino's Club Mars. Why are you angry at her? <laughs> we got scammed out of all our money at that asshole's club. You gonna do something about it? I wouldn't say scammed, you went there and you paid money. If you're gonna play, you gotta pay. Shut up, my wife took the kids and left me because of that damn club. You're part of the problem. Yeah, it's time for you to fix it. Am I gonna have to beat up more people now? It's all this crap. It's not like we spent too much money at Club Mars and we're driven to bankruptcy. They partied at a cabaret club until they went bankrupt? He certainly knows how to bleed a customer. They'll let them play until they run out of money, and when they run out, I'll loan the money to let them play more. With cutthroat interest, of course. Pretty nasty business. That's why so many people hate Club Mars. Doesn't surprise me at all this girl has to deal with something like this. The girls that have no idea why they're being targeted, he know doesn't tell them he's driving their customers into deeper debts with his loans. Uh, it's uh -huh. still not her fault that these idiots are like, yeah, sure, I'll take a, I don't know, million dollar loan so I can hang out with a girl. Like, Boy. that's just insanity. Especially this man with his wife and kids. Come on. Maybe your wife was on to something. Huh? We're busy here. Fuck <laughs> off. You surrounded a girl and threatened her. You ought to be ashamed. I'd ditch your sorry ass too if I were your wife. Thank you, Majima. Somebody had to say it. Say what? Sounds like you want to die, asswipe. Look at this shithead first, then he, you know, kill him. Okay, I think there's a battle coming up, but my bangs are in my face, so I'll give you a sec. All right, what a pain. You all right, lady, this is gonna get ugly. Maybe you should take a step back. Thank you, die. You know we had to fight again? Y'all don't stand a chance. <laughs> you threaten a man and he starts busting these moves on you, I would run. Let's go. I think we, yep, we got we got the one left. Excuse me. She's just like, wow. Look at those moves. That was underwhelming. My dream is just too strong. But why did you? What was all that noise? 
What on earth happened? I forgot that that's her default dress. I'm gonna be honest, Yuki, that is kind of ugly. Who are these people? Have you been being people up again, Majima san? Why you always gotta assume it's me? Guilty as charged this time, though. These bozos were making a racket in front of the club, so I figured I'd do something about it. Really? You beat them up for that? Majiba-san, you can be such a monster. No, no, that's not true. He saved me. Saved you? Um, who might you be? I'm I from Club Mars. Yeah, she's pretty ballin', I'm not gonna lie. I feel like all, I like all the Platinums just about the same, though, because you just, like, give them makeovers and kind of get the same result. Oh, I did do one special training session with Yuki off stream. Don't worry, it wasn't anything impressive. Oh, I do another one with her. I didn't want to do too many because I knew, know that I think when you finish her like special training stuff, she gets a little sub story if I remember right. What are we gonna do, Majima-san? She's from Club Mars. <sighs> Calm down, I knew that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but I, I didn't think a w random woman was walking around in this outfit. You knew and you still helped her? What if she's an enemy spy and this is all part of her plot? I saw him. Why are you in front of her club? Hi. Oh, right. I had a message from Hino-san for you. A message? <laughs> yes, I like her. Hi! So I guess it was probably more of a yes! I've allowed you to exist out of the kindness of my heart until now, but I grew tired of your buzzing insects. If you're challenging the five stars, there will be no mercy. It's high time I destroyed you. <laughs> Let the tears of defeat begin to fall. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's the message. Ugh. I like that classic. I guess that's his declaration of war. <laughs> if he's got a death wish, I'd be happy to grant Hi. it. That sounds great, Majima-san. Let's show Hino you know, that we won't bow down to the five stars. Sounds like you're starting to grow up here, yoda -chan. <laughs> What's the matter, Yuki-chan? You're shivering. Are you scared? No, I'm just pumped for the fight. <laughs> Don't try to act all tough. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> That's so great. What are you laughing at? You're making fun of me. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just fun. Mm -hmm. Everyone at Club Sunshine actually gets along with each other. You think so? We don't get along at all, actually. <laughs> It's a nice change of pace from where I work is all. All the girls at Club Mars are wound up tight and Hino-san doesn't really treat us like people. The way you three talk to each other, I'm really jealous. There's nothing to be jealous about. Jujima-san makes fun of me all the time. Don't confuse the cold archery for me making fun of you, Yuki-chan. You better get back to Club Mars. Okay. Yeah, uh, don't get assaulted. Have you tried not getting attacked by people? I hate her outfit, like, so much. I don't know what genius put her in the dress-up part of the minigame and threw that on. I'm sure she'll be already, like, makeovered um, when we recruit her after this. I don't know what I put her in, but it was definitely cuter than that. You're just working hard there. You got nothing to do with the lines in the sand. Besides, I ain't jaded enough to let a girl get attacked right in front of me just to twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> Truly wish you the best. I hope we meet again. <laughs> I didn't even realize their bodies were just chilling there, so. She was just uh. wild? I guess so. That's why she's number one at Club Mars. She's cute. I wish she was my daughter. She does got a sparkle in her eyes. Hey, my eyes sparkle too, see? Look. 
boy, it's kind of chilly out today. Oh. Yep, back to it, I guess. Be nice to Yuki, goddammit. Hey, see if my eyes ever sparkle for you again. Of course. Of course I want to run the cabaret club. Oh my god. It's just adorable day. We're just gonna do one more. I promise. Oh, and special training. I don't remember how many of these there are. Okay, ready for another round of talking? Hi. Yes, please. Wow, Yuki-chan, you've got those battle butterflies all sorted out, don't ya? It's just you, Majima-san. Mm -hmm. Well, none of that, thanks. I'm the customer, you're the hostess. Same as always. Are you ready? Hi. Yeah, of course. Welcome to Club Sunshine, Yu uh, Yuki. I mean, customer. <sighs> we still ain't there. Majima-san, thank you for Thank you for requesting me. It's pretty cold today, isn't it? Hmm? You're looking cute as ever today. <laughs> huh? What's with the giggles? I'm trying to talk to you like a customer would. <laughs> I'm sorry, Majima Sam. When you're the one telling me I'm cute, I can't help it. <laughs> Whatever works. At least you're doing okay when it's me you're practicing with. Oh. I used to get nervous even talking to you, Majima-san, but with your help, I feel like I'm getting it now. Even the conversations with my customers are getting longer lately. I'm actually starting to have fun at work. That's so? What you've been talking about? Everything and nothing. What they've done recently, what they ate, oh, and hobbies. Hobbies? Yeah, I seem to recall yours was bonsai. Wow, Majima, you actually remembered I raised bonsai? That's amazing. I only mentioned it briefly, didn't I? You really did. I think we did that one on stream, I don't remember. But yeah, she, she treats bonsai. And we're gonna have Cabaret Club, a steel trap memory is half the battle. I definitely don't have a steel trap memory. I find myself forgetting little things, so I started keeping a log of my customers' unique qualities and conversation topics in my diary. So now you practically got a case file on your customers. Way to go, Yuki-chan. I know my customer service skills aren't that great yet, so I thought I'd do what I can to get better. Still working at it. I know I've got room to grow. Hey, that's some good stuff right there, Yuki-chan. You've come a real long way. Cubs come quite a long way, has it? And you've been here since the beginning. I see it all changed. It hasn't come a long way. We're still in the Mars area, but okay. I've only been here for six months, so I graduated from college just this year. Remember this, when this place had three girls in it, including you? Tell me some. Why is a girl like you working in a club like this anyway? That's because last time my ass he clammed up just like this. Maybe it's time he cleared the air. I couldn't find a job. After I graduated from college, my job search was going nowhere, and I couldn't find anything. Really? In this day and age? Companies are practically hiring bums off the street, and we couldn't get a bite? It's true, I'm a pathetic woman who couldn't get an offer from a single company. I do pretty well on written tests, but I get nervous easily, so I'm terrible at interviews. I'm not a good liar like most people are either. Oh my god, I feel this so hard. I don't know if going to a cabaret club was the smartest solution, but oh, I didn't even realize we could look around. I'm a real loser, aren't I? Oh, I wouldn't say that. They were clueless. Hmm. Honesty is a talent. I'd say being unable to tell lies is actually a pretty positive quality, Yuki-chan. 
Yeah. What? Look around you. It's the times we live in. Everybody's dressed to the nines and lies and vanity, trying to one-up the competition. You don't do that. You just put yourself out there the way you are. Honest, almost to a fault. Oh, good God. I want to work with people I can believe in. I hired an awkward gal who can't tell a lie over a bunch of slew talking sucky-bye any day of the week. I don't know what's going on above me, but I, I, I assume, like, they're playing with their kids or something. I just keep hearing slamming above me. It's so annoying. But not like, it doesn't sound like somebody's, like, throwing shit. It sounds like somebody's falling. Or sometimes it'll sound like they're, like, doing fucking laps above me. And I'm like, you know, the outside exists. For you to be running around like this. I'm glad you got rejected too. If you were here at the club, who knows what would have happened? I'm glad I'm awkward. So, how did it happen? I imagine you must have met Yoda chan somehow, eh? Hi. Yeah, I was spacing out at a park by myself. I shudder to think what would have happened if he didn't approach me. Interesting. I wonder what possessed Yoda-chan to roll up on you. I remember him saying, there's something brilliant within you. You're the kind of girl that only appears once in a decade. That's Yoda-san for you. I see. Yoda-san is a really bad judge of character, isn't he? Nah, nah, I disagree. Yuki-chan, if you get a normal day job now, would you still want to go do that instead of the cabaret club? I mean, she went to school. For, uh, I would assume for whatever day job she would get. Till recently, I wanted to quit this job, to be honest. But now I want to see what I can make of myself at this club for a while. I see. At some point, I'd like to resume my job search and try to get an office job. But this club is a comfortable place to be, and I learn so much every day. Um, I'm not gonna say you gotta get sexier. I'll work you hard. I don't know. Let's do network. Have you tried networking? One of your clients could turn out to be a corporate manager. What? If he likes it, he might offer a job right there on the spot. What? Though I guess it does happen in manga. <laughs> what would I do? I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. Relax, Yuki-chan. Lay your best line on me. What could I do for you, Mr. President? My name is Yuki. It's it nice to meet you. You sound more nervous than a foreigner on our first day at a shady bar. Damn it. Uh, maybe I'll work you hard. What's the right call there? F. I don't even sleepy all of a sudden now that I can relax. Get enough sleep at night, Yuki-chan? Yeah, so I just had an unexpected guest over last night, so... A late night guest, eh? Well now. What is it? I wish you the best. I wish you nothing but happiness. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you're getting at. Hi, Croy. How did your stream go? I just woke up like minutes before I started streaming, so I didn't get to pop in. It's okay. It's no problem. A bit of shame, I guess. But if you're happy, I'm happy too. Thank you. Well, I am happy. I guess I'll keep on being happy. Damn it, we keep picking the wrong options. This is what happened last time I did this. Still going? Silent and I are going to play a little bit. Oh, Saturn? That's cool. Hell yeah. I think we can call it a day here. Thanks for the lesson. Good job. So let's see. Halfway decent. Oh, you could fool me. I flopped. Did pretty good, all things considered. Alright, cool. Hi. Now we can run. 
little day at the cabaret and then I'll do the plot. Cause I mean, honestly, if it were up to me, we would just be doing this, but I can't, I can't just do this. We only play this game twice a week. I have to be responsible and get the plot done. Um, yeah, this is good. She's all rested. You want to join? Hell no. I don't even have Val installed. I will never play Val. I'm sorry, Groy. It's not my game. Oh, let's do that. Um, open the business. Yes. Yes, please. This is my game right here. Welcome, sir. They look so cute. I can't wait till we get the hostess with the orange on her head. It really brings a, a spice to the room. Um, what does he want? He wants love. Do you like this lady? Oh, this lady's pretty good too. This is her only real redeeming quality, so. Oh, this guy. Talk. Oh god. I don't. I think we might be a little lacking on talk. She's got a lot of skill. Oh, she's got more skill. Okay, we'll give him this person. Then. Somebody who looks funny. Damn, he's really easy to please. She's got a lot of parties, so let's give it let's give him this chick. She really doesn't have much going on. I guess skill. Quick before somebody asks for help. Fuck. Um take this one. What do you need? She needs a menu. Menu. The way I learned yesterday that if you wait long enough, they'll just tell you what they want. But what I did when I originally played is I just guessed until I started getting them right and recognizing the signals. I learned this yesterday because I was playing and Zach came by. I was like, Zach, quick, what do you think this means? And then they would guess and they would take so long to guess. The game would just be like, it's this. It's, she wants a towel or she wants an ashtray. Um, oh, this, I'm glad I didn't use a UP on this guy. So in one Let's do Sunshine Fever. Oh no, help! Okay, that's gas glass. Yes, so good. Long session? Or maybe we could get a long session out of this guy. If I may. Here you go, sir. I like how he definitely did not put a menu down. Or what I think it was a menu that she asked for. I don't remember. I literally already forgot. This is a menu for sure. Menu. Two long session people? Okay, maybe we could get some extensions in here. Oh god, I didn't realize this guy was sitting here. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Don't be mad. He's like, I don't really like this person, but okay. Oh, thank god, this guy likes our only. What is this? Everybody getting menus left and right. Holy shit. Full house with sunshine fever. Check please. Okay. Long session. I don't like that it always like changes. Racial send off. It always changes your things during the party mode. Like I can't extend always the run party mode. I don't know. Sometimes I want to extend in party mode, you know? This is Refuse. Oh god. I would be like the one girl I am on board. 
Can we do our little, like, epic... I don't know, club off, whatever they want to call it. Long session. Crazy girl, she really needs the support. Um, we're gonna have to have more staff just to be safe. You're really playing a risky game when you get a full house and you only have one girl to give people. Um, Grace just How do you off. I can ask you, okay. Probably should tell her she's doing a great job on her next table, though, for sure. Wants to be pampered? Okay, use a gift. I hope you're, you feel pampered. Check, please. Short session? Okay, um, thank you. Thank you. Oh man, another one where we couldn't uh, couldn't extend. Let's give let's give Yuki a reward. You're doing great, Queen. Alright, let's see here. Everybody's good for you. You want love? Okay, we'll put this chick on. We might as well do fever, we've only got a minute left, so... I don't know if I should let fever build up to level 3 or not. I guess we'll experiment with that. Um, let's prep for you. We'll experiment with that on our club off, I think. Um, yeah, let's just praise her. She's a little low on hell. Who's playing this game? John Cena? No, it's Gar. I don't want to be perceived today, but I did want to play this game. Oh, fuck. He hates everybody. Here you go. He's like, ugh, you suck. I sh this is why I saved Yuki for last last minute here. This is gonna be a GF. Hey, I need like Yuki. Everybody likes Yuki. Perfect. Check, please. Um, short session. Oh my god, I wish I could praise Marilyn. Her health is getting a little down there. Hi, Seth. Come on, sit down. We've only got 16 seconds left of business. And I just, just take this straight. Okay, you need a towel. Oh, might as well do this for the last 10 seconds. Um, I don't remember if their health even carry. Their health probably does carry over the next day, but she probably needs a break. Getting some digits, I see. Yeah, look at we're loaded. I don't even need any of this money. I just did this for the fuck of it. <laughs> look at how fucking loaded we are. It's kind of silly. Nice. Oh, we got a CP. I think we can unlock. I think I wanted to unlock something, but I don't remember what. Mm, it was probably related to the club upgrades. Congratulations, Majima Sami. Top 1,500 fans from the Mars area. Well done, Yoda chan. Looks like our hard work's paid Hi. off. Kino ain't gonna take this line down. Yep, okay. I know I said this was our last one. But we've got we've got some Mars battle coming up, so I think simmer down, Yuki John. God, that's the second time somebody said that. It seems a bit silly. I can't simmer down. We got a challenge from Club Mars. A challenge. Looks like we're finally going up against some head to head. Wonder how that works. Finding the 
challenge. It says we fight it out in a cabaret club battle. Alright, cool. Let's do it. What's the matter, Yoda-chan? Pull yourself together. Sotenbury's cabaret industry is rare but terrifying method for clubs to duke it out. Yeah, I can I can handle that. The losing club in the worst case scenario. The losing club is the close-up shop. Seriously? Okay. I'm not scared. I'm not a coward. Oh, that's fine. We can. Club Mars has gotten nothing on us. Can I accept Hino's <laughs> challenge, right? Oh no, Zach is dying. I'm sure Ben was very offended that he couldn't be in here, but he was too slow. I was like, come on! And he was in the kitchen licking the bowls clean, so. Seems to lose yeah. Benjamin. Got any reason to back down? No, okay. Oh! Are you silly? Are you silly, Ben? You look silly. Oh, yep, he's silly. What a high energy boy lately. Oh, that's another thing. We gotta clean Jake's ears and we gotta schedule Ben for his dental cleaning. I couldn't imagine brushing their teeth. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. We're gonna do this battle. I kinda want to see if we can finish the doll sub story. Actually, I can't because I'm like attempted on the battle, but I also want to get some new some new ladies, you know? I'm not worried about our chances, but we are just barely staffed. The longer we run the club like this, the more tired everybody gets. Where is the shrine? I, I just accidentally ran past it and I don't recall where it was. Mm, I don't think that's it. Is it not marked somewhere? I know it's like right around the corner somewhere. We could also do karaoke. That is a good idea. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just see it when I see it. Oh, am I on a sub story on accident here? Get real, you leech. It's all the same. I guess I am. Screw you, little sales tax. You want us to pay a tax every time we buy something? You bloodsuckers, you'll bleed the whole country dry. I understand. Your anger is justified, but but it's a necessary evil for the sake of the nation's people. Oh, I think I remember this. Gotta lurk, gar, gonna go clean and cook. Okay, I hope we get something tasty. Hey, Ben. Come on, little man. Please? No, he's so gonna bounce. He's hungry. Yeah. Get stuffed. You know, pay sales tax on that fancy suit you're wearing, you damn bureaucrat. This tax is only made to keep the common people down. Yeah, you vulture. The younger guy's sure taking some heat over some kind of tax issue. Oh, you silly Ben. You so silly. I'm trying to spring the sales tax on us all alone in a back alley, no less. I don't like your tone, sir. I represent the voice of the general populace, and I'm here to tell you you're fucking pissed. Sorry, we're pissed. Let me give you a taste of the public opinion, then you'll know what oppression feels like. Please calm down. Violence isn't the answer. Don't do this. <sighs> this pot's about to boil over. All right. I'll insert myself for the sub story. Uh -huh. I don't think this one will get us any cute girls, but Good. we'll do it anyway. You don't know what, who this cockroach is, do you? It's the pencil pushing dickwad that came up with the sales tax. Sales tax? What, don't you watch the news? It's a new tax they're gonna start charging next year. Ben, stop it! Don't eat! Psst. Don't eat that. Fat kitty. What? That is some bullshit. And this guy's the douchebag that's highway robbery. Ah! Whoa, I about lost it for a second there. 
Listen, guys, I totally understand why I'd piss you off, but beating this guy to a pulp isn't gonna make the sales tax go away, is it? Huh? Who gives a shit? The government needs to know what the people of their ship policy... I'm sorry, the people think of their ship policies in a way they'll understand. Direct action. Power to the people. If you ain't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. You wanna stick up for this mosquito? We'll show you the power of the masses, too. <sighs> So what you're really after is blowing off steam? Sure, see how far that gets you with me. Prepare for the revolution, asshole. All right, we're about to break dance all over these menacing men. Oh man, I don't, yeah, that's right. I haven't streamed since I attempted to buy a PS5. So I'm waiting for Zach to pick me up, but I see like I I found one of those like a restock away things, and they're like, oh, Target is, currently has PS5s in stock, so I go to Target, and I put the PS5 in my cart, and I pay through PayPal, and I'm like, yes, oh God, I mean that hurts the wallet, but I had the money, I have a PS5 now. Poggers, and then all of a sudden I check my emails and first I get a email from Target that says, sorry, your order was canceled, don't worry, it wasn't charged. And then I get an email from PayPal that was like, you authorized $500 from Target. And I was like, did I though? Because my fucking order was canceled. And then I get a third email that's like, uh, confirming my order. So I'm like, okay, so... <laughs> Is my order canceled? It was, thank and thank God. Because I was about to, I was like, this is it. This is the big one, right? I, I was like, you're charging me $500 to cancel my order. I will lose it. Um, They didn't actually charge me, thank God. But it hurt my soul, and that's the important part. I, I was defeated. I was crushed. So no, I'm not the proud owner of a PS5, and I never will be. Can I buy you drink as thanks? That's a good name, I'm a G1. No need for any thanks, though. Yeah. Wait, did you get a PS5 or no? No, it got canceled, F. <laughs> Literally, like, as soon as I place the order, they're like, eh, just kidding. I'm like, no, 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 no. I gave you my payment information if you don't have a PS5 in stock for me, then you keep that money. And when you do have a PS5 in stock, I should be the first bitch to get it. This is ridiculous. I'll get you one. It's okay, badge. I don't know how you can get PS5s. I mean, maybe it's just because I sleep during weird hours. So by the time I wake up, everybody's already, like, gotten all the PS5s from the restocks. I never see that shit. Come here, Ben. What are you doing? Come on. This way. I don't have much in the way of rank or power, but I am in a position to help steer the country. I came to Sotenbury for a conference on taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to face the public about it. You're driving a tank called the government. Even if you're careful, people are going to be pissed at you when you steamroll them. You're trying to make this country a better place to live, right? You got to take some pride in that. You think so? I knew people would be unhappy with the new tax, but only on a logical level. When I saw how emotional they got about it, well, it was daunting. They find out that the sales tax is only the tip of the iceberg and that there are more taxes on the way. I hate to think how people will react. More taxes on top of the sales tax? Nothing's set in stone yet, but we're considering many more effective ways of generating revenue streams. In fact, at tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some of those proposals. That's so. Well, I guess with everyone making such good money these days, you can't fault the government for wanting to get their hands in the pie. As you've seen firsthand, we have to consider public opinion. I wonder if I can really come up with a tax policy that everyone could live with. Good luck with that. Even if they're throwing cash into the fireplace, nobody wants the government to hold out its hand. I gotta do my taxes. I, I would have done them already, because usually I do them the second I get my W-2. 
but one, I started doing them, and it, the, my tax return sucks this year. And two, I was still working at the school for like two months of my life last year, and they didn't send me a fucking W-2, and I hate talking to people, so like getting me to email them is, it's impossible. I should just send the email. Maybe I'll just do that after stream. Cause I, I, it's probably gonna be like nothing, right? That I get out of that. But I still am like, it could be like a hundred bucks. And would I send an email for a hundred dollars? Yes. Yeah. Want to get your views on taxation, dude? Look at me. Do I look like I know anything about taxes? That's why you're perfect. You see, I just had this idea. Perhaps someone who's completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely different perspective. I sure can, because I don't know shit. Hey, I simply do not know shit. I yeah. know about taxes. Yeah? You want to hear about taxes? Tell me about taxes. These nuts. Taxes, these nuts. Tax these nuts, bitch. Tax these nuts. No exaggeration. The fate of this country rests on your shoulders. Would you please give me advice on taxation? But I mean, I guess. I don't know what you think you're gonna get out of this. Let's talk some taxes. The site will be invaluable. This is hardly the place for it. Can we go somewhere more, more appropriate? Sure, lead the way. I don't think we've been to a restaurant once. Oh, excuse me. Oh, once. Like, aside from cutscenes, I don't think I've walked into a restaurant. In Yakuza 1, or Kiwami 1, I don't know if OG 1 does this, there's, like, stats that eating at restaurants build into, I think. I don't think you really get anything other than health out of it in Zero, though. Okay, you're basically hoping to strike gold in a copper mine. Well, let's just make sure you're not completely in the dark with the basic question. Do you know why the government collects taxes from the people? Um... It's to provide public services. Right? Yes, that's exactly right. I'm sorry for asking such a basic question. Just as you said, Majima, taxes are collected mainly for providing public services. Education, medical care, the police. Um, I wish I could assign my tax dollars to go everywhere but <laughs> to the police. But I suppose if I was able to do that, boomers would also be able to do that. And they would be like, I love cops. So I'm just going to put all my tax money into cops. I'm going to build roads and bridges and keep them in working order, right? But there's more to it than that. They also serve other purposes as it pertains to general wealth. But we don't need to go into that much detail. Like I said, there's a whole lot I don't know. <laughs> But aren't you interested in where your money goes? It's always good to know more about taxes. I'm getting proper schooling here. All right, let's shift to the main theme. Majima-san, if you were in the position of collecting taxes from the people, what would you tax? What the f Sato-san? I'm sorry, I don't know who the fuck Sato-san is. Adult entertainment? Tobacco, you should tax tobacco, easy. Tobacco, you say? Interesting. This is a government monopoly on tobacco products ended three years ago. There actually has been a small tax on tobacco products. Yeah, I smoke myself. So I don't really want to pay a tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. If you're going to jack up taxes, it's the non-essential stuff that you start with. People might even be more likely to understand a tax on smokes, right? A tobacco yeah. tax. Yeah, it packs around 200 yen now. People will bitch and moan, but I think they'd still fork over 300 yen. Interesting. At the 400 yen mark, though, I think I'd have a longer think about each pack being worth it. <laughs> At that point, I'd consider cutting back on my intake, too. What about 500 yen a pack? I'd probably quit cold turkey. You'd quit at 500, but if we raised it incrementally started muttering all of a sudden. What else do you think would have potential for taxation? I think something that's closely tied to everyday living would have the best potential. Everyday living, huh? Air? Yeah, uh, could you start an air tax? That doesn't even make any sense. Pets? A pet tax? A gas tax? God, gas prices are so high lately. This is Japan in the 80s, so I don't know what it's what their gas is like. 
Jacking up the tax on gasoline. A gasoline tax? Why not? People with cars are obviously living it up here. Why not just come a little more off the top? Yeah, this is true. I feel like city areas in Japan are more walkable. So people who are um, driving cars are driving them as a luxury. Price of gas is dependent on the cost of petroleum. So people have experienced price hikes before. They should be used to price to price creep, actually. The provisional to riff on gas tax. Yes, there's certainly room to raise taxes without too what? much notice. Why all the martyr on you? Not feeling that yeah. one either? Far from it. I think it's a fantastic idea. I definitely will follow it up on, follow up on it. Uh, good to hear. Jima-san, anything else? Do you have anything to say on um, the matter of taxation? Um... Yeah. I was saying about the sales tax, those goofballs were all riled up about. Next year we're gonna start paying 3% on top of everything we buy, right? Why stop at 3%? Sure, you can go in at that rate, but wouldn't you get more if you bumped it up? That would be impossible. Majima son, you saw what happened. Just a 3% tax caused so much outrage, people wanted to tear me apart. Charge more would probably end in open yeah. revolt. Tayo chan, you ain't thinking. People are pissed because they're springing a new thing on them. And you had to turtle up. You gotta think about the long game. The long game? Familiarity is a scary friend thing, my friend. Sure, people are bitching and moaning about this shiny new tax, but once it becomes a regular part of life, they'll move on to the next thing to bitch and moan about. That's when you start gradually turning the screws. Every time you hike it up a little, you'll get some more blubber in, but they won't be screwing bloody murder like the first time they introduced the tax. Wanna know why? They'll be used to getting screwed. If something they've already accepted gets a little worse, it's just the facts of life doing what they do. If you wanna pull in the cash, you gotta have a plan to really amp up that sales tax. Majima-san, I'm getting goosebumps, and I think you're terrifying, actually. Are you even aware of- Are you even of this earth? You really wanna know? No, not really. What do you think a man with an eye patch doing breakdance moves on your enemies? Do you really think that's going to be a normal man to have a conversation with? How high do you think it should go? How high should it go? You're starting at 3%, right? Let me see here. 50%. No, that's nonsense. Um, I feel like 8% is being good around 8%. That's a good number. It sounds like too close or too far from the double digit 10% threshold. There would be a dissent among the people, but I imagine it could be workable. 8% sales tax will bump 100 yen thing to 108. That sure hurt my enthusiasm for buying pricey stuff. Maybe if we went from the initial 3% up to 5%, wait a little longer, then act it up to the proposed 8%, eventually we'd. Enough with the motoring under your breath, Tayo-chan. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. I'm so glad I took the time to speak with you. You're a wealth of ideas. Glad I was useful. Useful doesn't begin to describe it. Please take this. It's just a token of my thanks. Nice, I probably still ha or already have that from the other time that I did this, but thank you anyway. Hi. I'll be sure to work in your advice. See ya. Only Yagusa Zero has a side story about a guy raising taxes. <laughs> Jacking up taxes? Did I just- if taxes go up, is it my fault? Nah, no way. Way to go, Majima. Oh, and there might be a gas. I, okay, there's not a gas leak in our car. We confirmed this. We put some cardboard under the uh, under the car overnight, and it was fine. I forgot that we lived there. Wow. Okay, let's go to the right. I don't want to. Yeah, this way. I don't want to accidentally trigger the story yet. I want to go check on Doll Girl. Um, there's not a gas leak because we put cardboard under it overnight, so, like, I could see that there was, or Zach could see that there was no gas on the cardboard. But we are just ran- now that gas prices are just obscenely high, my beautiful little Tercel that had wonderful gas mileage is just, like, burning through gas, like, no tomorrow. And I don't know why. My mom said to see if there's something wrong with the spark plugs. 
I'm just pissed because I just had it in. I hate taking my car in. I don't want to be carless. I don't live in the city. I can't be carless. I can't even walk to work. Like, what car is essential? This is why it was so nice to have two cars. That's Club Venus. I didn't even realize it was over here. All right, let's go see if the little girl's over here. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, she is! Oh no, she's crying! What the? It's that doll girl bawling her eyes out. What's the matter, scamp? No! What is this? The doll I gave you got all messed up. Who did this? I want names. My mom, my mom, my mom's gonna get killed. Oh my god. What? The scary men who come to take money showed up, but this time they took her away, and they did this to your doll, huh? Do you have any idea where they took your mom? Down by the river, I think. All right, come on, kiddo. We gotta bust a move. Oh, no. Why would they do that to your doll? Your doll doesn't owe them money. That's horseshit. Stop it. I already paid you back everything I borrowed. You what are you talking about, you dozy cow? We lent you a million yen, remember? I paid it all back by the due date. Really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. <laughs> by my calculation, that's about 13 million yen left to pay. We want it back now. 13 million? I could never. Guess you leave us no choice then. You're young enough. Still should earn us plenty of cash out on the street. No. I know plenty of sickos who pay top dollar for the little kid you got. What? You can't. Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us until every last yen is paid back. Got it? Your brat's gonna <laughs> fetch a pretty price, too. Probably bring in more than you. Leave her alone. My daughter, she's the only family I've left. Please spare her. Please. Um, these guys look like they need a good old-fashioned beating from our friend Majima. Oh. Who are you? You ain't here to give us lip about the way we do business, are ya? Yeah. I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. And you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram then? That ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in this world that really set me off. Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of. And fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both those bills, asshole. You motherfucker. You got a screw loose, you skinny runt? Cause you're begging to get your neck bro. Shut your mouth and put, you, put up your fist so I can hurry and beat the shit out of ya. Street ruffians. I can't believe that didn't hit both of them, first of all. The circle move and the breakdown style, I don't know. I'm never feeling it. It's just so... I'd much rather have like a speedy grab. I ain't done with you yet. I gotta tear you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. Have mercy. Ah, uh, come on. I was just getting to the fun part. Daddy. Hey, you alright? Dad? That's me. I'm daddy. Yeah, this is the man who bought me all the dolls, mommy. I call him daddy. Listen, it wasn't my idea. Don't get the wrong, don't get the wrong uh, thoughts in your head. That was you. My daughter talks about you all the time. I don't suppose I could ask your name. It's Majima. You've done so much for us. I don't know how to thank you. There's nothing really. A little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. Hell yeah. I think I definitely have that. Probably, yeah. Secret wallet? I'm sorry, security wallet. It's totally different. Appreciate it. It's gone into the item box forever. Daddy, I'm sorry. What's wrong, scamp? I told you I'd take good care of the dolls, but please don't be mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? It ain't your fault. Don't even sweat it. Even with its eye coming off and cuts all over, it ain't like it's dead. Its heart's still beating. I can feel it. 
Okay, its eyes look fine. I don't know what you're on about. I think you're projecting, Majima. I'm living proof, ain't I? Take a look. One eye's gone, but I'm doing just fine. You're right. When Bunchan got messed up, you didn't throw it away, right? You're still clutching it close. Looks pretty happy about that if you ask me. Really? I'm gonna fix him up and keep him safe then. Yeah, you do that. I better get going. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. Oh, I'm kind of sad. Sad to say goodbye. Thanks, Daddy. Daddy, huh? It's got a nice ring to it. Alright, now... Should I go back and do... Yeah, alright. Let's run back. I'll try to... Where's our club again? Right above the massage bar? Alright, we're gonna run back. Oh, fuck. Turn around, turn around. <laughs> we're gonna run back the other way, away from Mr. Shakedown, because I'm not about to get robbed. I am gonna save, too. Just in case. You never know. Um, ooh, I think there's a girl on the floor there. Not a literal girl, but like one of the collectible cards. And then we're gonna run back to the club, see if we can recruit her mom, which we might be able to, might not. I don't know if I have to do any story stuff in between recruitments, I have no idea. And then we'll do our epic battle or whatever. Now we're gonna have to fight these guys, aren't we? I'm busy, I'm busy. We'll fight later. I wanted to go the other way to see if I'd, you know, trigger a new sub story or anything, but I ain't about to get beat up by Mr. Shakedown, that's for sure. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we can head straight down this alleyway, it seems. Oh, here's the shrine. God. Um... Yes, please. What's our last one? Ooh, a club makeover? Yes? Nice. Great. Um, what do we got for battle? I don't care about that. I like how there's just a conversation going on in the background that I can't even... This guy? This is Bob. I think he's in all the games. It's me, Bob Utsu no Mia Zero. Guess what I have for you? Oh, right. Yeah, you can get like packs. I already got them all, though. It's for you and it's free, you know? I already got them all, Bob. Good to know. It's like right up the road. Alrighty. Let's, uh. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I forgot to look around to see if our uh, mom friend is over here. Also, I think somebody's getting bullied nearby. Not on my watch. Yeah, I don't see our mom friend. Usually when you recruit new ladies, they're like right around the corner. Maybe she was, uh, she'd be by the arcade. I don't know. I'll have to look it up and then we'll, we'll recruit her later. For now, I'm just gonna do our club battle. Hopefully we do all right. I definitely prefer to have more ladies to rotate out, but at least we have all the ones we bought from, uh, excuse me, we bought from the, the shrine. Who's this lady? Oh, we might have recruited somebody. It sure ain't the mom we just saw, though, that's for sure. You got a minute? This may sound crazy, but you ever wanted to work at a cabaret club? If you give me a present, I'll think about it. A wallet or a watch. Shit. I don't think I have. Damn. I don't think I have that. Uh, you're gonna make me go to the store? Son of a... Alright, I'll recruit you later. I can't... Psh, buying things for random women on the street so they'll work for you? What kind of system is this? I'm just gonna check around the area real quick. Oh! Hello? 
Come on, clear a path. Um, excuse you, sir. I guess we stumbled upon a sub story. You can't barrel through a crowd like that. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. It's fine, what's the big rush? I have to go to the convenience store, the one over there. Yeah, real problems if you need to hit a convenience store that bad. I have to get some lip balm right away. I feel that, brother. I got some crusty lips today. Yeah, slip bomb. I'm in a hurry. I have to run. Bye. I don't remember why this guy is so desperate for lip balm, but I feel like I've done this before. You in some sort of pain? Oh yeah, my feet have been sore since this morning. Why don't you slow down a bit and go easy on yourself? If I don't run, I won't make it in time. What do you mean? I have to get going by. Yeah, didn't you hear him? He's in a hurry. He doesn't have time for this shit. I mean, yeah, we should probably go see what that's about. I think I'll probably run the club first and then we can check it out. Um, I was just looking to see if our mom friend is over here, but I don't think she is. He went to this convenience store. Okay, that's kind of convenient because it'll be on our way back to the plot. Um, you don't see any markers either. So let's just... Where's our club? Our club is here. Let's go run the club. Real quick. I know we can do it. And we already looked by that vending machine, so I know she's not over there. Yeah, I might have to just wait a wee bit. How do I decorate the club? I just un I might not have uh, unlocked decorating yet. I don't remember if you unlock it right away. It looks like no, because I would guess you would do it in here. So let's just run the club. Of course. Can I do the battle? Rival battle. Hell yeah. I mean, I saved on my way over. I guess if we flop that hard, I can load. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Sorry, prepare to open. Yeah, we definitely are not. I mean, a couple things we have to do first. Cast on duty. Sorry, Yuki, I know you're getting a little tired, but we need you. This is serious business today. Um, perfect, she recovered, she'll be helpful. This chick is not having it anymore, she's gotta go. Shame, cause she does have pretty high love and skill. Throw this lady in. This lady's got good party, I'll throw her in. Wow, oh, we got a lot of love. Okay, I need some talk. I need one lady with some talk. Ooh, okay. Do we have anybody that's a little more balanced? No. Okay, this is our this is our money maker right there. Pretty balanced, I would say. Do you have special training? Date karaoke. I did say I kind of wanted to do karaoke, so that's great. We don't even have to walk over there. Sure, let's do it. Let's change things up a bit and practice a date with the customer. Practice a date? Sometimes you'll go on dates with customers, then come into the club together. You gotta be able to have a good time. We're gonna practice with karaoke. Alright, we can't flop or it'll be embarrassing. We'll embarrass ourselves in front of our employee. Oh, kind of a bummer she doesn't get to wear her makeup on uh, stuff that we gave her on this, but that's fine. I'll sing... X3 shine. I feel awkward singing in front of people, so it'd really help if you chimed in too. Alright, let's do it. Oh my god, Ben, you can't be that cute. It's distracting. Go! 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 Yay! Yay! I hate when they start the button off right at the beginning of the, the line. It makes it so hard to time. Fuck. 
We're flopping. She's gonna laugh at us. Fuck. They weren't kidding when they said lively. Love the surfing. Need some shine. Shine, 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 shine. Fuck. We're fly. I can't believe we got the fancy cutscene. With skills like this. Oh god, she's flopping. Uh, we're free! Is this game like mostly mini games? Are you just doing those mostly? Um, there's a lot of mini games in Yakuza, uh, but there's also a plot. We're gonna do the plot after we run the the, the uh, cabaret club here. Yeah, bad Yuki-chan. Got that song down to a T. It's because you helped me overcome my stage fright. Do you mind singing next? I'd love to hear you sing. Oh, fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes. That's great. Okay, I can do this. It's a classic, I love this song. I love you, you love me. Hi, Ben. How are you? Okay, you want to get on my lap? That's not disastrous. Oh, fuck. I'm flopping. Okay, I would say it's probably a solid 80. Eighty-eight! Even better! Not too shabby, I guess. It was great! You were totally cool, Majima-san. Thank you. Heh. Hi, Ben! Thank you for helping with karaoke. I appreciate your input. Mr. Good lesson. Thank you. Thanks to you, I got some tips on how I can make karaoke more fun. Thank you very much, Majima-san. Alright. Um, everybody's... Right, we got everybody on. Alright, I think we're ready. Wait, hold on. Makeover's just for them. Okay. Alright. Let's do this shit, and then we'll go back to the plot. Oh, it's gonna be like two hours before we see any plot for this game, F. I'm sorry, I knew this would be a problem. I can't tear myself away from this mini game. My favorite little ant farm, you all seem to be scuttling about as mindlessly as ever. Mars Club Kino, right? You're the one who dragged your ass to the nest. Wanna take a swing and see what happens? Don't get cocky, little roach. I could crush this club under my foot anytime I feel like it. Looking forward to you giving that a try. We'll see who gets crushed. You insects sure do dream big these days. No grip on reality. 
Answer me this, Gorama What's the most powerful thing in the world? It's money. You're a winner if you have money. If you don't, you're a loser. Me? I have money. Lots of it. Expensive <laughs> liquor. Great food. Hot women. If you have money, you can have anything. If I want more customers, I can even pay for them. How do you think a piss poor cabaret club like you is going to win against what's in my wallet? Beats me and won't know until we try, but you know, running a club takes more than the cash you put into it. Continue to annoy me, you fly. You know what? I'm going to really enjoy watching you worms squirm around on the ground, begging not to die. Let's do this then. Club Sunshine, we're open for business. Oh yeah, we're going to slap y'all around silly. Oh yeah. Alright. I'm gonna see what happens at level 3 fever. I haven't played in a while, so I don't know. Party? She's pretty much only got party, so we'll put her on there. Trying to give I'd try to leave Yuki for last if we can. Or for somebody really rich. Um, this guy's poor, he wants talk. Oh, this, that's Yuki. Okay, this lady can only really talk, so that's great. Help! I can do that. You need a menu? Oh my god, look at how fast he's making money. F. We're gonna flop. Ladies does? I can do that. All right, you want talk? Shit, we're gonna have to throw Yuki in really early. That sucks. What's going on? Is this like speed dating? No, it's um a cabaret club. Oh my god, he just he just stole our customers. Oh god. Okay, skill. Sure, this lady's got some skill. Fuck. Oh my god, we might actually flop. This is embarrassing. Help, I can do that. So we're running a club where ladies hang out with guys and they pay they pay us money to hang out with the ladies. Fuck. That sucks so bad. What's a cabaret club? Is it like a strip club or a brothel? No, nobody has sex. Nobody's allowed to touch women here. They just pay to hang out with women. That's all. Um, she's got some high skill. We could do that. Oh my god, we're flopping. We're flopping so hard. I don't remember this battle being so difficult. No! Oh, she's gonna steal my fucking customers again. Okay, skill. Uh, I guess you're the best we got. Oh my god, fuck! I don't even want to burst here because we have nobody here. Oh god, this is terrible. Okay, um... Yeah, you can party. Here you go. Oh god. Um, we're gonna fail. This is not good. Do you own this establishment? Yes, kind of. Majima just kind of walked in here and saw that they are flopping. Stop kicking out my guests! How am I supposed to run a business like this? Um, I think this is probably a good call. Oh, fuck, dude. I mean, we're getting up- we're getting up there on our- On our little burst meter. Guest glass, of course. Please don't leave, I'm big- We have only got a minute left? Oh my god, we're so fucked. Um, some talk. Oh my god, I've never seen a harder flop in my life. I'm like, yeah, we could just, um, beat the rival club real quick. I don't think it's the end of the world. We can just rematch them. Um, we'll do this. You guys are getting so tired from her sales flopping. Um, thank you. I can't afford to give you a gift. Our sales are down. Um, um, help, I can do that. Oh my god, we did better not 
um, not doing a battle with them. Like, we had a full house. This sucks. Uh, we want skill. She's got skill. Okay, we're so close to level 3 Sunshine Fever. Come on. A little more. The Gus and Fever state. So it goes on. I don't know what the difference is. But, like, should I be not spamming it? I don't know. Like, does the level 3 Fever really make that much of a difference? Compared to a bunch of level 1 Fevers? Okay, um. We're gonna keep you in. Help, please. I can do that. You need ice. Okay, please don't kick my guests out. It's gonna be fine. Oh, please. He definitely made more money than I did. Um, that's Ashtray. Bum, 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 bum. Check, please. We'll do. Um, praise girl. Good work. I didn't have to pay to hang out with women. <laughs> See, oh my god. Bash, you don't have to pay to be here. You can hang out here for free. Um, give girl reward. I would do this. I don't have the social fortitude to hang out with women, though. I'm, I'd be too nervous. Um, short session. Let's just thank you. Oh, God. I'm so scared. I think we're gonna flop. Check, please. Alright. A long session, but I, let's give the girl a reward. I'm trying to be cheap so we can maximize our profits, but our ladies are very tired from the, the never-ending abuse we're getting from our rival. Thank you. Our rival club. We're almost on level 1 sunshine again. Um, oh fuck. Give it a sec, I'm just gonna... Okay, towel. Trying to save Yuki in case of emergency, but I guess it's only six seconds left. It's just doing another sunshine fever as a treat. Oh god, I'm so scared. But then I wouldn't get the stab or the shy, so it's true. Oh my god, we won? Fuck you! Fuck you, Club Mars! You can't chase my guests away. They love it here so much. I'm so glad I didn't splurge on gifts. We barely, we won by the skin of our scrot here. Wow, that felt like we were flopping. Imagine if we kept all those guests. They would have been eviscerated. Suck my balls, Club Mars. Let's go. We did it, we won. Yes can't be happening. You guys are flies. Dung beetles. I don't lose to mere insects, and yet here you are. <laughs> be a good sport, Hino. You got stung. There's no way this is my fault. Something else must have caused this. Ah, you're supposed to be my number one hostess. What the hell were you doing? You're worthless. I'm sorry. It's about time I fired your sorry ass. I'll use your pay to recruit girls twice as good as you. Hi, Ben. I'll guarantee my win next time. Since she threw the fight, this battle doesn't count. Ha ha ha. You're pathetic, you know. He's, Ben's hungry. He doesn't want to hang out with me. He just wants to chirp at me until I feed no. him. You guys. Huh? Who the hell are you? Majima-san, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Sukiyama, the founder of the Five Stars. You're the big bad boss, huh? huh? A rather trite description, but yes, that would be me. Here we have... I'm Kazuka from Club Jupiter. Mess with the five stars and you'll be in a world of pain. Oh my, so ominous. I like his giant ass piercings, genuinely. Mizumura from Club Mercury. Go easy on me, eh? 
I'm Kanahara from Club Venus. You wouldn't forget a face this fabulous, would you? Yeah, your hair is sure is something. Five of you call yourselves the five stars. Nice to put some faces to the names. Yes, yeah, septum is huge. I love it. I wish I could stretch my septum, but I get nervous. I want to stack jewelry. I don't want like a big, like, especially on TikTok, I'll see people with really big septum jewelry. Like, it'll cover their whole nostrils. Like, I don't want that. I already have breathing issues to begin with, like, without the septum. But I just want to be able to put a little tunnel in there and be able to put like two dainty little rings in. That's it. Sunshine is vastly inferior to Club Mars. Nevertheless, you still manage to win in spite of your handicaps. When all's said and done, maybe you five stars ain't such a big deal after all. Yeah. How presumptuous. If the five stars were five digits on a hand, Hina would be only the pinky finger. In fact, it's embarrassing to even call him our peer. If winning against this burnout brings you such satisfaction, it speaks to how weak you truly are. Nani? How can you say that, Tsukiyama-san? After everything I've done for you. Like one G, I was gonna stop. I was gonna go up one, but it didn't roll with me, so I stopped. Yeah, I'm also, there's just a lot of, I guess, cartilage in that area, so I'm worried about stretching. I feel like it's gonna hurt like hell. Whereas, like, your ears, if you're doing them right, really, you don't really feel it. No further need of you. Stop be hasty. Give me one more chance. I'll do anything. Thank you for your service. Now, goodbye. No! I don't want to die! Yo, hey. Damn. He's out. Why is she wearing red shoes with this outfit? It simply does not match. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Like, where's the red for you to be wearing those shoes? I, I don't understand. One last rival. It's rather shame that the five stars are in fact down to four thanks to Hino's buffoonery. Kodomi, would you care to join our ranks? A gracious offer, Tsukiyama-sama, but I feel I am better suited to the tasks required of your personal assistance. What a shame. Majima-san, what about you? Would you like to join the five stars? It seems there's a vacancy and you would certainly qualify. Sure, only to get kicked to the curb the moment I disagree. You couldn't make me join you for a truck full of cash. I see. That's most unfortunate. In that case, farewell for now. Look forward to Club Sunshine's continued progress. Oh, but do be careful. If you do anything to truly anger the five stars, there's no telling what might happen to you. We get eye now. That's pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see what I put uh, put on her for an outfit because she's definitely not wearing that. Looks like things are going to get a little busy. Never would have thought all the five stars would show up at our club of all places. They make one hell of a happy bunch. And that assistant, she's kind of creepy, right? I mean, she's pretty, but still. <laughs> Glad that we won. This will be fantastic for our reputation. At least we're still in business. We have some tough battles ahead, but we'll get through them as long as we stick together like a team. Um, excuse me. Oh, hey, you're what's your name from Club Mars. What's the matter? Would it be asking too much to work at your club? Yeah. You mean Club Sunshine, the number one girl from Club Mars, wants to work here? Yes, Hina's son is gone now, and I don't think Club Mars will be open for business for a long while. I guess he did just up and take off. All things considered, I doubt he's ever coming back. I really want to work here. Seems so much fun here. You mentioned that before, didn't you? That's right. That's what I thought the other day when you saved me, Majima-san. I knew it must be a great place to work just from the fun atmosphere you guys create. I doubt we're all that different from any other club out there. Not true. Club Sunshine is really friendly and cheerful, and right now there's no place I'd rather be. Please, let me join you as a part of your team. If you want to be here that bad, you might want to get your head checked, but it's all good. Welcome aboard. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action, I chan Finally, a cute girl who's not so quiet and plain. Yuki's right there. It's so fucking cold outside, is it? It might actually be starting to get nice over here. Let's see. Let's take a peek. Oh my god, it's cold. But it's gonna be like, so right now it's like 20 and freezing and it might snow tomorrow, but 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's gonna start getting into the 50s. Welcome to Wisconsin. Just weather all over the place. What do you mean by that, Yoda-san? Five stars don't stand a chance against a cutie like I chan. Say goodbye to quiet and plain around here. You too, Majima-san? You guys are so mean. This is really fun. I'm looking forward to working with you. Yes! Oh, uh, as long as it stays like 60 to 70, I'm happy. But once we get to those like 90s, I'm like, I want to die because our air conditioner is only in the living room. So like, it doesn't really, you know, reach here. It does, but it doesn't. What? <laughs> Beat a Club Mars, there's four more left, okay. Cool. Oh my God, I'm so rich. I don't have anything to do with all this money. Ooh, we can talk to her, hold on. I do for you? Oh, cool. We can upgrade the interior. I unlocked like some new strawberry. What's strawberry look like? I bet sunshine is the new one I bought. Isn't this what we already had? <laughs> this may have been what we already had. What about sunshine? What does that look like? Okay, got it. It looks the same, am I crazy? It really just looks the same to me, whatever. We'll keep it on sunshine. It just looks like may maybe it's tinted different. I can't really tell. Yes, yeah, so I wanna see what Eye's outfit is cause it's not that. Um, and then maybe we'll do some, some training, I don't know. We're gonna open. Um, makeover. Yeah, Yuki definitely needs a break. Oh my god, I definitely was going for a, a, a look here, that's for sure. I'm changing this dress, it's, I don't like it. That's worse. I do need like a, I think I wanna stick with the cute funny, I think that's a good, a good goal here. Cause I think, um, that's cute. I don't know who Saki is. She's, I, oh, I think she's Club Jupiter's girl. Um, God, that's, that's terrible. I need cute funny. Yeah, cause we got like cute, beauty, sexy, I think on Yuki. Maybe that, this is exactly why I went for this dress. Cause it's cute funny. Is it a, a better color? Oh my god, they're just all weird. I don't know. Like, I guess this is the least offensive of them all. If, maybe if we get another girl, I'll transition her over to this, like, suit. This is a little better, but it does downgrade our cute. I'd say fuck it, maybe. Oh, downgrades are cute and our beauty. I guess we'll stick here. The hair's gotta go though, I hate it. Oh, we can use this to help too? Maybe we'll do that, maybe we'll swap the dress and we'll find a, uh, well let's do this. We'll swap the dress and maybe we can find like a hairstyle that'll go good with the, the cute, funny look we're going for. Oh, but that puts our beauty down. Oh, that gets like basically everything but cute up and funny, I guess. Hmm. Beauty down but cute is up. I kind of am a little soft on this one. Uh, I think we'll go with that. We've got beauty with, with other people, so it's fine. What color? Oh, hell yeah. We can have funky hair. I don't think, I don't like the way the funky hair looks, though. We're just gonna, we're, we'll keep her at brown hair. 
I don't know what this ER is about. <laughs> I'm exposing my absurd fashion choices here. Um. Yeah, we'll go with type 1 brows. Eyelashes. No eyelashes. Of course we'll go with the long ones. Eyeliner. Yeah, thick eyeliner, of course. Eyeshadow. Blue. I don't know if that goes with the black look we've got going on. Cowards. They don't give me black eyeshadow. God, you can't even see some of these colors. This is kind of, it's like gray. Um, we put green. Let's do a little purple, go crazy. Did you say guy liner? No, I said eyeliner. It's not guy liner, it's on a lady. You can't even tell the blush is there. Where's my e-girl blush? You have lipstick on? I couldn't even tell. This is purple shit. It's terrible. F. Done. Sure. I don't understand the tiara. Does the tiara do anything? Okay, okay. It does something, that's for sure. I'm taking it off. Oh, I love when guys call their eyeliner guy liner. It's so funny. Like, they can't help but turn everything masculine. I know. It is pretty silly. No, no glasses. I love the round glasses. They're absolutely the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life. Earrings? She's got none? That sucks. It puts our key. I kind of like these. I think that's why I put none. Cause I was like, oh, they don't really affect our stats, but I'm rich, whatever, let's just make it rain. Um, nothing really changes our stats here. That being said, I do like a little necklace, so. Nails? We gave her no nails? This is just cruel. This puts our sexy up. I mean, we don't really need our sexy up, but it is the only stat changer, so... Let's fuck it. Let's be a little sexy cute funny then. Puts her sexy down. Okay, that makes sense. A lot of the rings are ugly. I think we'll put the watch on. I like to have like three good stats on my platinum girls. Why would you have a bracelet and a watch? Why wouldn't we use our other wrists? I don't understand. Um, this is hideous. I, I guess. Is it worth the cute stat to be so ridiculously ugly though? I think not. I don't understand. Sure, it lifts the spirits, whatever. You look great. We're done here. Yes. So you got sexy, cute, funny. And she's beauty cute. Okay. I, for some reason, I thought Yuki's sexy stat was higher. That's fine. Um, we, we're good. We're out. I'm done. <laughs> we gotta play the fucking game. Like shampoo for men. Yeah, gendered, gendered beauty products are very weird. And if you're out here buying products aimed towards women, there is a, a tax on it. It's just going to be more expensive. Hate to say it. There's a pink tax. I bet it was Majima's idea. Him and his dang taxes. I should probably throw some stuff in the item box before we leave because I think our inventory is full, but I don't know. Maybe that was um, our equipment only? Yeah, I, I think we're all right. I'm just gonna throw that in there. I'm never gonna remember to sell that, so. Um, I certainly don't wanna carry a gun around. 
frozen sardines? <laughs> oh, here we go. This is what was full. Um, I'm just going to throw these. I don't want that for sure. I've got two of those. I think I'm like equipped too. I don't really need, need to adjust my equipment at all. God, oh yeah, we gotta stop by that convenience store too. As what's his face ran into us before we did our epic cabaret battle. Um, I think that, is it this way? Let me look at the map. Yep, it's this way, okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I tried so hard not to run into her. You don't even know. What is going on up here? Oh. <laughs> I just, I just threw somebody on their ass and they disintegrated. Oh, God. A boy on his ass. That's a fella who was in a hurry to buy some lip balm. Sir, are you okay? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Hey, you down again? Oh, hi again. It's my feet. The pain's spreading and worsening. Didn't I tell you to slow it down and walk? Yes, you did, but I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. How chapped were your lips? Ah, oh, wow, 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 wow. My feet. You gonna make it? If only I had some medicine with me. I have some medicine, I'm sure. Um, here you go. <laughs> Drink this cheap shit. All yours. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Phew, the pain's fading away. Thank you again. Good to hear. By the way, did you get those chat lips of yours taken care of? My chapped lips? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What's not to understand? You were the one hauling ass to get lip balm. Were your lips about to fall off or what? Yeah. Oh, I see the misunderstanding. No, it wasn't for me. I was rushing because the girl I liked asked me to get it for her in a hurry. You were doing your girl a favor earlier. <laughs> yeah, basically, I run errands like that for her all the time. Don't mind being her little errand boy? Go get me this. Run out and get that. Not at all, she really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Oh, I remember this. He's a simp. I remember it all now. Errands are opportunities for me to get her to notice me. Uh-huh. Can't shake the feeling that this girl is just using him, but if that floats this boat, I ain't gonna rock it. I was so diligent about running errands, she was giving me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. That's so. What'd she call you now? She calls me Aaron Coon. I didn't have a nickname to be proud of. Girl's got a sharp sense of humor and it cuts too deep. That nickname of yours. You do realize she's turned you into her personal servant, don't you? Cool. Is that really how it looks? But even if that were true, I still have a crush on her. It's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground. Literally, that medicine's a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt you're all healed up. Mm. Hi, Ben. <sighs> He's not a quitter. I'll give him that. If she wants anything, I've got to be the one who goes out to get it for her. It has to be. Well, I should be going. Thanks so much again. Pathetic. Aaron Coon, I can understand wanting to impress the girl of your dreams. Don't let it turn into a nightmare. Yeah, she's using this man. Where where'd he go? Can I help him? Or is he gone until I happen to run into him again? I'm just gonna look real quick, because usually they'll mark it. I guess he's gone until I can help him. Alright, let's skedaddle. Time for plot. I gotta buy like a nice wallet for that girl I wanted to recruit too. We'll do plot first though. Plot's more important. Oh, wait a minute. What's this lady up to? She looks recruitable. Probably wants the same thing from me, but we'll still check while we're while we're here. Um, what do you want? You want a present? Leopard print. Okay. I'll get on that. Leopard print and a wallet. Designer wallet. 
see, I wanted to run around and do this off stream, but instead I just kept playing that Gabriel mini game. And also, I was like, oh no, what if I accidentally trigger the pod? I didn't realize that to walk in here. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt. Hmm? I'm guessing that mean all has to speak with you, sir. It's just. What's he look like? Not Japanese, I don't think. I would guess Chinese. Rather short and there's no word for it but ragged. It's been a while since we uh, have done plot stuff, so uh, basically we were told to kill Makoto. And we didn't realize it was Makoto. It was a cute blind girl who's traumatized for life. And uh, her boss, man, and I are working on a... Um, Oh, that's disgusting, Ben, and you should be ashamed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, we're working on a plan to get the hit off of Makoto. So this that's this Chinese fella we're about to talk to, I assume. Oh, it's short and ragged? I'm sorry. I think the person we're going to talk to is probably one of Lee's friends. But either way, I can talk to this man. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Oh my god. Ben just took a fat shit and clearly did not cover it. I think as a as a ploy to get us to feed him. Ugh. You can follow me. Alright, I will. Maybe I will follow you. Oh fuck. That's disgusting. Are you feeding the cats or should I? What's that? Are you feeding them? Okay, could you um, cover that poop on your way out? Okay. So it doesn't smell like shit in here? <laughs> oh my god, he's wired. How rude. He knows exactly how to fuck this, yeah. Yes, yes, this is Lee's friend. Okay, remember me? The underground doc from Jambalaya? Yeah, I got you. Grand, a really nice place. Plus all drinks on Manager Sean's tap, right? I guess. Look, I got this. I'll deal with them, and whatever his bill is, I'll cover it. Got that? Yeah, I'm loaded. I can cover you. I've been making all my money running a different club. Hi, Nix. Of course, sir. You got here just in time for the plot. I've been doing cabaret club stuff for the last two hours. Oh my god. Fine, fine. Ancient history. Plus, we outnumber you. You're really strong. Even Lisa can't compete. Ew. <laughs> Why are you gonna drink like that? Well, how about you state your business before getting completely wasted? Oh, that's right. I came with a message from Lee San. Lee San not like to show his face around places like this, so I come instead. A message? Don't worry, I'm not drunk yet. Get to the message, would ya? Can you leave club right now? Yeah, why? You leave club, head straight to your home. You live far away, man? No. Just along the river. Good, good. Once you get home, Lisan contact you. Lisan will be watching from when you leave club. Okay. I can handle that. He wants to get a beat on where I live? I just bring message. You don't need to know why. Alright, I got your message. You drink as much as you like tonight. Really? I can? Such a big man. I love generous managers, Don. I'm glad. I'm here to please. He's being awful roundabout here. Oh, well, I guess I'll dip out for a bit. Let's get it going. I would love to run the Grand, but they don't let you run this place because it's got more than eight seats. It's too much. I could do it. I have the power. I feel like once you complete Club Sunshine, I should be able to do this shit. 
It is you. Who wouldn't recognize that ugly mug? What's up? The Grants Manager, Goro Majima. I owe you one from last night, pal. Dude, last night was like two weeks ago at this point. I don't... I don't remember. Who are you? It's probably the Yakuza that tried to kill Makoto. No matter who I am, where'd you put Makoto-chan? I know you had the girl. Where? Oh, it's you guys. That it is. I see the resemblance now. Oh my, he got a mighty scar on his eyebrow. The wannabe kidnappers? Didn't expect you to save me the trouble of tracking you clowns down. Smug bastard, do you think this is funny? This amuse you? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to figuring out why this girl's in everyone's sights. What the fuck do you think you are? You got us by surprise last night. That didn't happen again, Patches. Why is he ca Oh, because of our eye patch. It was like, the fuck? We've only got one patch, alright? At this point, we're done fighting fair. Yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Let's beat ass. I'm gonna go for our, their head honcho first. Really beat some sense into this man. Uh, you can't punch me mid break dance. That's cheating. Literally, why would you ever use any other fighting style? I just don't understand. Like, sure, this doesn't have grabs, but it, why do I need grabs when I could do this? I missed. F. Check this shit out. There we go. Finish him off with a little kick. <laughs> the hell is this guy made of? Who are you? Not so fast, buddy. I thought you had business with me. Shit. You know I've got questions for you. I aim to get answers. There's in hell right outside the club, Mr. Manager? Oh, fuck. It's this guy. He's not gonna be amused. Sagawa. Do you get mixed up in some kind of trouble? It's not like you to bust heads right on your own doorstep. It's nothing. Forget it. Where are you going? Not work, apparently. Have you found Makoto Makamari yet? Not yet. Hey, yet I hear you didn't go home last night. Here, I figured that meant you tracked Makamura down. I'm still looking right now. You just gave me the job. I still got time. I suppose you do, and once you find the target, killing them is the quick part. Still, sooner is better than later. Yeah, I definitely didn't find her. And are we done here? I don't got time to waste on chit chat. It's in this chit chat, Tiger. You know what they say about ABC, don't ya? Huh? Always be in contact. Oh, I thought it stood for always be common. Or one of contracts works keeping your boss in the loop. Always be common. Alright, oh look, we made contact. That's alright. What snags you want to advice on? Soon I have to telephone pole and come to you with my problems. It's so true, I hate Sagawa. He knows. He's not, st I mean, he is stupid, but he's not that stupid. He knows. All right, time to go home. <coughs> Oof, excuse me, I'm sorry. Rip your ear users. I usually mute, but I didn't have time. It just snuck up on me. Damn, we live right next to, wait. Yeah, we live right next to Club Mercury. What are the odds?
That you, Lee? Oh. Yeah. How are you holding up, you bear? Hmm. hmm. You know the trick to forgetting your pain. Drinking? Having your balls to the wall. We don't shake these yakuza now, they'll trace us to the grave. Oh, okay. Ain't got time to be feeling pain till this job's done. Fair enough. Forget me, the hell's up with this place? What do you mean? Apartment's being watched from all over. I got at least four sets of eyes on it. Oh, I'm not allowed to leave. <laughs> I'm impressed you notice. They know you're hiding Makoto? Nah, this place has been, been under watch for a long ass time. My client's the guy behind the eyes. And there's more under club too. Oh, I know. And you can add more on every road leading out of Sotenbury to that list. I ain't allowed out of the city. That's why they're all watching. Keeping me from skipping town. So what, this town's your prison cell? Yeah, pretty much. You got it. How's that about? Used to be Yakuza up in Tokyo. Then I crossed the guy running my family and my life went down the shitter. Even now, just because they got me on a leash in Osaka doesn't mean they won't kill me if I give them reason. That's rough. We all got our baggage, I suppose. That means we can't just stand here chatting. and chat. Let's take this someplace safer. Meet you where Makoto's hiding. I'll show you a route where no one can follow you. How's that work? A secret door in the back of the patient room at the clinic. Keep it hidden behind a bookshelf. They'll get you through the building next door. Even if you're being tailed, that passage should be enough to throw most anybody off. How come a massage clinic's got a secret escape route? I mean, he does more than just do massages, that's for sure. I told you we all got our baggage. Exactly. Be careful. Got it. You've gotten into it outside the grave before, didn't you? The boys who came from Rakota last night know your face. Don't tell them where they could be watching from. Right, so I'll use your little back door at Agoshi Kaikon. Happy? Thrilled. Once you get through that, I'll straight for Makoto. I'll meet you there. Got it? Got it. What's in the bag, sir? Okay. Flip through unnoticed. Definitely being watched. Okay. Play it cool. Just sprint everywhere as per usual. What hurts? Oh, over here. All right, play it cool, play it cool. By beating these random men up. Sorry, when I see people being bullied, I have to intervene. It's in my nature. As a certified break dancer, it ain't right for me to just walk away. Also, it's so easy to beat ass. Why wouldn't I? I gotta, like, do something with all this money. Or we're gonna get robbed by Mr. Shakedown. I'm gonna cry. Thanks. Man, you think this will pass as a gift for that one chick? It's a French wallet. That's fancy enough, right? Hold on. I wonder if I can get to her. No, they're gonna tell me not. I, I'm not allowed over here. Okay. Where is that one lady at? Is she over here? Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. We'll check later. <laughs> I don't want to fight. I want to go to the massage parlor. <laughs> Looks like more of Sagawa's clowns. Guess the bastards got everywhere and might want to go on lockdown. Another exhausting day. I'm ready for a nice massage to beat my busted up body back into some kind of shape. Wow, he's a natural. What an actor. 
Hopefully that'll keep him thinking I'm still inside a while. Long enough to find this door and get gone anyway. I said there was a bookshelf blocking a door. This? How are we supposed to cover the secret door back up? <laughs> it's not a very good secret door if you just leave it exposed. Wow, crazy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right, sure, kind of random, but whatever, I'll go this way. It'd be kind of silly for us to immediately go back the way we came and pass the guy who is watching us, I'm sure. So we'll take the scenic route. Okay. Um, what is it like right here? Perfect. Hi, kitties. Still having bath time, I see. Oh my god, it's been- Makoto's like starving to death in here. She's like, that- that one takoyaki can only go so far. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> are you blind? What are you looking at? Oh no. I'm sorry. I was just worried. Is that Philly? Okay. I don't know. Lisa said that if you open it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, it kind of looks like her. What was inside it? Photos of some young lady. Lots of them, all the same girls. Surveillance shots. Lisa brought photos? What for? We're gonna kill her. Are you digging in? Nice shots, huh? What's up with these photos? Easy, tiger. Don't get your panties bunched up, I'm about to explain. Here, drink up. Thanks, Lisa. Got one for you, too. This is lemon juice? Lee, these photos are that, about that big plan you are talking about. Who the hell is she? Serial marriage frauds to this chick, and it gets better. Guys who fall for her get a bad habit of dying suspiciously. You ask me if she drains them dry, then serves them with a lot worse than divorce papers. Even this monster's got her redeeming features. Take her age and build. Awful close to Makoto's, yeah? What of it? <laughs> Makoto's been drugged. She can't object to this plan. You didn't drug mine, right? Because I was going to drink that. What the hell are you thinking? Comes next, eat for her years. So, time for a little nap. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! You're awful dense for a hitman. Girl in those photos? She's Makoto's body double. I figured it was. Okay. It results that the targets are dead. Exactly, results. Oh, Phyllis. Poor girl. Now for a body, your boss is happy. Just why we take the girl in the photos. 
have our bombs here for the roll instead of Makoto. Now just uh you and me will do the job. Oh, poor Billy. Dress a body in this. When the cops go to verify her identity, it's me they'll be coming to. So I'll give them their answer. No doubt about it, that's my poor little employee. And boom. You stupid, as soon as they start investigating, they'll see they ain't the same girl. That's fine. After she's dead, we give the girl a face job. Excuse me? <laughs> as long as she's unrecognizable, we're in the clear. A little ass that takes fingerprints right off. The fuck are you, man? He's business. A face job? I feel like more than a blow job, a face job would be more appropriate for like uh, coming all over a girl's face. I want the truth. Just who the hell are you? You ain't just a random acupuncturist. You got nothing to say? Used to be the same as you. Well, hit man. What? Did contract work for a mainland organization. My last job was about six months back. Who told us six months? Oh, you know what? It's not relevant or related to the plot at all, but I was like, why does six months seem like a familiar time frame? It's because we went on that date with Yuki and she was like, I came here six months ago. Six months? Wait, that's around when you said you took in the girl. And I get everybody's out here six months ago. Because I guess it also is Makoto's arrival. Good memory. Try thinking that last one through. The girl was an organization property, locked away. Oh god, I didn't mean to skip through that. I'm so sorry. Six months back, I took a job running a raid on some Korean mafia. Turf war over the slave trade. They'd already killed a bunch of our men. There's two of them in that storehouse. After killing them, I left, I'm left with a room full of half-naked girls in cages. As soon as I unlocked the doors, they all bolted. All except one. One of them couldn't move an inch. And that's... Yeah, that was Makoto. She starts reaching out in the dark for my hand. Totally blind. Once she found it, she latched on and wouldn't let go. Just out there crying, saying thank you over and over. Her hand was so tiny, man. I couldn't bear to let go. She's been playing Big Daddy to her ever since. Excuse me? Face job? I'll Google it! I feel like it's not a real term. No, it's one, instead of, like, giving someone, like, a blowjob, like, I think my ex... ...off their cock with, like, their fat cheeks. Like, your literal... I don't mean, like, your ass cheeks. I mean, like, like, you're, like, a chipmunk trying to ejaculate someone. Thank you. I liked my version better. It was more realistic. Yeah, I suppose. Who's got cheeks that can do that? She's always real sick, even as a... I need cheeks. He probably does. Okay. The side effects of the drug she needed were rough. By the end, she could barely see. That grip on my hand, it was just like the one I remembered. What do you mean? <laughs> Majima? I ain't about to let a daughter die before my eyes again. Uh-oh. To protect my girl, kill any stranger you put in front of me. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Makoto's pretty cool. I'll murder for her. I know it ain't right, but I got no other options left. Alright, let's pour acid on some chick's face. I'm ready. You're gonna help me with it, Majima. I need you to report back to your boss that Makoto's dead. I don't- I think he's gonna see through that one. Damn fool. Huh? 
You ain't giving the Yakuza near enough credit. They'll see through a trick like that in no time. Alright, so what other plan do we got here? You got any bright ideas? Don't yell at me, I'm simply a guy. Count me out of this. You're just gonna run away again? Don't think I can't tell. You lost that eye of yours from running away, just like you are now. Um, no, I was held in a torture dungeon. It's a bit different than running. Excuse me? Sure, you got your justifications. Well, I'll bet you came all this way without ever getting your hands dirty, acting like a damn choir boy. You're Yakuza, no better than me. Once a man steps into the shadows like that, he's black as night till the day he dies. In that case, sack up and meet hell halfway already. You don't know a damn thing about me. I'll ask just one more time. You sure you won't join me in handling this? I mean, I agreed. Majima says no way in hell, though. Alright, in that case, I'll show you how we do things in the shadows. Can't have anybody who knows about this little plan leaving this room alive. Alright, so we fight. It's over, Majima! When highly. You underestimate my break, uh, breakdance skills, sir. Oh my god, we're juggling this man. Okay, he's angry. Sometimes I am like, we probably should stop breakdancing. Like, just for the thrill. Cause we could do stuff like that. I never use my meter cause I'm too busy breakdancing. Oh my. Ow, my arm! No, no god hand! I'm waiting for the next QTE. Stop! Stop, god hand! Stop! You're doing well. Yeah, well, you're almost roasted, my man. Very elegant, Majima. Um, do you fucking mind? Beat this man with a bat real quick. Wait, Majima. Majima. There really ain't another option other than a body double. If I want to keep Makoto safe from here on, I need Makoto's dead body. Otherwise, someday somebody a lot meaner than you is going to track her down and kill her. Not to mention you'll be long dead by then. How could he not see that? If and when that happens, all I gotta do is kill everybody who comes gun for me. Can't seriously think you can. You said it. To step into the shadows, you stain black for life. But you can still choose who you bring down with you. You got my answer. Stop it. Hey, I was using those pictures. Don't let her catch cold now. She's like your daughter, ain't she?
You've been smoking that, or is it just burning for style points? Nice. The hell am I even doing? Hey, put that out! You can start a fire! Oh my god. Uh oh. I don't know why you took it in the first place to throw it out where anybody could see it. This makes three days. Didn't wind up changing much. If anything, things are worse now than before. Digs up as soon as Sagawa finds out I'm keeping the girl alive. Can't risk heading to the storehouse now. Better play it cool and head to the grand like normal. I think we're gonna meet a nasty man. If I remember that purple suit well, I think I know who we're gonna meet. Oh, a running man's back, but we can't go over there right now, unfortunately. Or Aaron Coon. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, I'm busy, I'm busy. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Hi, Ben. How are you? How are you? What are we supposed to do here now? Oh, maybe, um, god, I can't even walk in here, or run in here, I'm sorry. Okay, Ben, hold on, hold on. Come on. If you lay down, I'll turn on cat cam. Just head to the grand and act natural? How do I act natural here? Can I just go upstairs, I guess? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Acting natural. On our left. Excuse you. Um, I think ah, I have cat cam set up here. Let's see. Oh. Should I call for Lisa? I'm going to show Kai again. I'm going to go asking for you, sir. Um, don't I have cat cam? thought I did. Oh, it's not a assigned to this new layout. Here we go. I'm gonna have a little Ben as a treat. Lee called? Someone you know then? Yeah. What did he say? Uh, not much of a message, but he asked that you meet him at Fukushikai oh, as soon as possible. Yeesh, the hell does he want after what happened last night? Look at this little man. Guess Lee needs to talk. Says he's waiting for me at Ogushi Gaikan. Okay, let's save while we're in here. What time is that? Oh, okay. Got a little time left still. I'm gonna keep checking on with the plot. Does it say what chapter we're on? I was kind of—I don't know if this is our first Majima chapter or if this is our second one. And the next chapter will be Kiryu. Does it say chapter seven? Yeah, I think this is our last one with them. Um, with Majima, which is kind of a shame because I'm hoping to finish it. I don't know when it ends though, but if we can finish it tonight, that'd be cool. Because then we can go back to Kiryu for a bit. And I think we'll get our like little radio show unlocked, which will be cool. Maybe some more uh, side stories too. I'd be a fan. Look at you, little man. Well, 
I just turned the corner. What in tarnation? Sure, sure. Hold up a sec, will ya? Uh -huh. Huh? Hey, that guy Majima who rents a grand? That's me. Uh. How's it going? Make it mad, Wula? Do all right for myself. How about you? Uh, you really gonna ask that? You're the one who brought it up, smart guy. Oh. Tell you the truth, I got serious money problems. Uh -huh. The bank of Majima's closed, sorry. <laughs> oh, cool. We got a new sub story. What? This guy's got more money than he can use? You earn all that from tips? He's some kind of guitar maestro? This money's all mine. I hand it out to people who listen to me play. Are you for real right now? Yeah. I'd love to listen to this man play. Here, how much I spent, I can't get rid of it. I took it to a bank, but they said they the ain't got enough room in the, the vault. It's you, it's Benjamin. The damper. It's, it's you. you. Ew. <laughs> He's like, don't mind if I do pet myself. I hate people take some off my hands if I played him a song or two. Why not skip the tunes and just give it out? <laughs> got me there. I see why they call you Lord of the Night. What's that got to do with anything? You really that rich? Feels more like you're yanking my chain. Oh, is my wealth that obvious? I try not to flaunt it too much. When you're the king, you got the aura of bling. Ain't no way to hide my eyeballer vibe. Yeah. It's a break it to you. You look more like a cross between a lounge singer and a used car salesman. Huh? The sleeves is just oozing right off ya. What? Not like the type who shows up at my club and throws money around, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah, if you're Mr. Moneybags out here, why aren't you at the Grand making it rain? Stressing me out. I really am rolling in dough. For whatever reason, people think I look like the human embodiment of a gutter. I'm trying to tell a sob story because it ain't working. Hmm. What am I trying to do is find a way to show my wealth. That's when I heard about the rumors about you, Majima-san. Sotenberg's Lord of the Night. First time I saw you on the street, guys and girls were falling all over themselves, left and right to get in your good graces. I don't exactly like all the attention. You don't seem rich at all, Majima-san. Sure, you look flashy on the outside, but it feels like an act to me. I could see the veneer peeling off. Hope I'm not offending her or anything. Guess you got some savvy after all. Yeah. Never mind. Tell me, why'd you go stop stopping me on the street if you think I'm faking it? About no. that, I was thinking maybe you and I could be friends. Why don't you show me how to act rich? Yeah. You may have money coming out your ears, but I gotta work to get paid, and time is money. Let me ask you then, what's the difference if you look rich or not? <sighs> well, why does it matter? a huge difference. When you look rich, you can hit on girls without them screaming and running away. They might actually listen for a change. I think they just don't want to be bothered. You ladies will start trying to talk me into marrying them. I can build a whole harem. You're just another horn dog chasing tail after all. Pretty damn pathetic. How the hell did you get rich in the first place? I don't understand this world sometimes. When it comes to money, I got all the luck. It just seems to fall into my lap. It's like how girls fall in the laps of popular guys, I guess. Now you're just being a creeper. How about this then? If you help me earn some green, I'll be your pal. Eh? That ain't how it works. Friendship ought to be something you give away for free. Now you're gonna take the moral high ground? If you're that rich, you may as well buy a few friends. So friendship can be bought? Alright, I'll buy you, Majima-san. How much? What will it take for you to hang out with me? Your sleeves is making my skin crawl. If you got pockets that deep, just come to my club as a customer. That ain't gonna fly, forget it. No cash, yeah. I walk. Ain't that I don't wanna go, it just seems I'd have a hard time spending much cash at a cabaret. The grain ain't some pop-up dive bar, pal. Those girls will have me paying through the nose. Don't worry, I got the money. Gotta say, I like that thing with the money shower before. I might give it a try myself one of these days. Oh, we can rain money as Majima now. Investment fund. Me and the other wealthy people around the country share some info and take contributions from investors. 
Okay. Why ain't you, Mr. Freaking Fancy Pants? Change the subject and we're a whole new man. God, did it again, did I? My bad. Anything money related, I run my mouth off. Us fat cats are like that. Ain't gonna make any profit with loose change, right? I'd have to invest big. Okay, good talk. Nice to meet you. He doesn't really care if I rain on him, but it felt good. I don't think I want to talk to Mr. Moneybags right now. What is happening over here? Are they like w just walking? Look at they're just walking into each other. Oh, I'm not in uh, breakdance mode. It's just, like it's okay. It's hard to say it's not fun. It is fun. I mean, I get to do this. That's pretty cool. It doesn't have the same vibe. Okay, anyway, bye losers. Where are we going? All the way down here. Okay. Oh yeah, we can check on our running man. Sorry. 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 You can't attack me? I'm in a cutscene, bitch. It's stylus, but breakdance mode has pizzazz and it makes you glow pink. Exactly. Nyx gets it. Oh no, I'm so screwed. What's wrong? I've seen dumpsters happier than you. The voice, hello again, it's my seekers. The souls have finally worn through. They do look beat to crap. Mm. Yes, they were my favorite pair. Can't even go buy a new pair like this. Mm. He needs new shoes, huh? I'd give him some, but I ain't exactly in the habit of carrying a spare pair. Oh. What am I gonna do? Don Quixote carries sneakers, if I remember right. Maybe I'll get him a pair if I feel like it. Alright, I can do that. Where's Don Quixote? Temple. Oh, right down the road, actually. Perfect. Excuse me. I've got an errand boy who needs some sneakers. Can I. How do I get into Don Quixote? Oh, it's right here, right here. We're buying these shoes in the name of love. This man is definitely being taken for a ride, that's for sure. Perfect. Yes. Uh, I wanted to look at the rest of your wares, actually, but I don't think there's anything we need right now. But still, they got quite a lot of shit. I don't need any of this. Okay. Mountain Dew is seven up. Um, do y'all have Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar cherry flavor at all? Why would you? Why do you have comfy souls? Oh, they have everything here. Alright, I'm out. See ya. What was that? What was what? I think the neighbors are doing stuff above us. I just heard like a noise. Again. It sounds like above the kitchen. Hi, I bought you some shoes. Keep them. Yeah, I bought shoes, but I'm gonna keep them. Can I have these? Really? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Put them on right now. Yep, there they go again. Sneakers are great. They feel wonderful. Yeah, they look brand new. Very shiny. These are the latest style too, aren't they? Oh man, are they cool. I should go for a run in them. It would be a waste now huh. too. Did you forget the whole reason you got into this mess? Think you had, ought to take it easy, maybe. That's right, I couldn't contain myself. So happy. <laughs> Getting happy makes you want to run, that's a thing. <laughs> I hear that all the time. I was on track team in college. Running's in my blood. You're just a strong runner then, I take I... it. 
Yes, I am. I've been running too much without taking the proper precautions. That's how I ended up injured. Let me guess, you're still running errands. Yeah, I can't stand the thought of not seeing you're happy. I need to clean your ears, little, little man. Little baby man. Thank you so much for these sneakers. Oh yeah, he's loving the ear scratches. <sighs> that pace will end up hurting himself again. Can I help him or do we have to wait for him to show up again? Getting it away from to show up again. All right, back to it then. If I see that lady who wanted the wallet, I'll try to give her that wallet that one person gave us. I don't know though, it might not be good enough. I might have to go buy one. I don't recall where she was. I know she was pretty close to the... Was that this lady? Hey, I got something I can give her. Yes, oh sweet, we didn't even have to go to the store, here you go. I'm a Kemi. Didn't we already have a Kemi? Am I crazy? Maybe we had somebody with a similar name. We got a Kemi. Cool. Alright, let's go to our massage parlor. Oh, sorry. Little hairy man here. Little hairy boy. Hey, it's me, Majima. How's it going in here, Lee? Oh, Majima. Glad you're here. I've been waiting. Slow down. We've got you all pumped. How oh, am I not gonna be pumped? Huh? Look at you playing the hero all by yourself. Hey, what now? Slow things behind us. You've done good, Majima. Huh? What are you on about? What am I? You did her, didn't you? The girl from the photos? Oh, this morning, the body of a young woman was found in the Sumpori River. From her clothing, the deceased is believed to be Makoto Makamura, age 20. Her disfigured body has led Osaka police to believe Makimura san met with foul play. I didn't do that. What the hell is this? Wait, it wasn't you that did it? That's her from the photos. I ain't killed anybody. I told you I wouldn't. Yeah, but the body's wearing Makoto's uniform that you took with you yesterday. What'd you say? Cops came by this morning with a snapshot of the body asking me to identify her. The face was all caved in, but she was wearing the outfit I gave you, plain as day. That's odd. Totally normal thing to happen. Huh? It's for me, isn't it? It's for you, uh oh. Yes, for me, it's Majima. You see my little present yet? How do you like it? What the hell are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about, buddy? One dead Makoto Makimura. What? She's officially dead now. That should please your employer, no? No worries, he'll be coming for your ass now. You should be thanking me. Yeah, we're gonna meet our our boy. I don't know why. A lot of people on Twitter like this guy. I think he's grody. I'm gonna trade you and me. That ain't a proper answer. So right now I'm over at your club enjoying a drink. God, but let's leave the grand. Let's go back to the grand. Let's go to the massage parlor. See, look at Oh my god. I don't need to see this. Hey, that's enough. Some place we got here, Majima Kun. I'm a fan. Why don't you come and enjoy it with me? Don't keep me waiting, stud. 
so gross. Such a nasty man. Oh fuck, that was the end of the chapter? Are we on Kiryu? Yes. We got like 10 minutes left. If it is Kiryu, we'll get a start on it. If it's Majima, I guess we'll, we'll do more Majima stuff. Tug of War, Chapter 8. Poggers bonus content? No, it's still Majima. Okay, well actually, I'm kind of glad it's still Majima. Because I wanted to play the, the Cabaret Club mini game off stream. <laughs> How's some random guy know about my plan? Uh, well, I threw away the bag in public, so... The guy on the phone, he must have picked it up after I threw it out. Pulled it from the park trash can. The Hagushi Kaikan uniform I got from you, and the photos of the girl. Threw him out, he must have been watching me. Real smooth move, weenie. So he takes that, whacks the girl, plays Makoto dress up with a body. Why though? Who is he? You don't think it's your boss, do you? Nah, if it were him, he'd call me himself. This guy was someone else. Wait, he talked? He talking? You had been ordered to kill Makoto. Turns it down to what? The Yakuza who came here? Wow. Don't be upset by it. My no leg is numb. I need to adjust. Oh, he's upset. I'm sorry. I got one leg up for you. What's your move? Waiting for me at the Grand. You stay with the girl. Yeah, what else do I do? I'm gonna go talk to him. You're really gonna waltz in there alone? You said yourself he's waiting for you. Better than having him sneaking around me. It's gotta know the reason why everyone's after. I'm way fast ready to get that nailed down. Ben, will you be upset if I adjust a little bit more? Don't leave. I'm sorry. Don't leave. Okay. Alright. There. Can you get comfy? He's like, fuck you! I'm sorry, Ben. I'm a monster. I'm sorry. Bye, cat cam. I gotta get the quick key on the, the no cam mode. Alright, let's meet our newest customer. I think there's enough for your sleeve to warrant keeping cat cam on? Probably, don't judge me, all my outfits are hairy. I don't know where my lint roller is either. I wanted to wear like cozy leggings to work, but they had too much hair on them. And I was like, well, oh, it's the doll lady. Fuck yeah. Yeah, hey, mother, the girl with all the dolls. Thank you so much for helping my daughter and I. I came by because I wanted to say thank you again. No, I don't think seen it. Let me ask, how's the little scamp doing? She talks about you nonstop, actually. She'll often say, I wonder what daddy's doing today. That's so. I'm sure it's just a phase, but all the same, glad to, to hear she's doing well. How about that loan of yours? Turns okay? Barely making a dent in the interest. Yes, work at my club. Woman like me? No doubt. Pretty lady like you, you'll be able to pay down that loan with a little extra to cover that, some new dolls. What's daddy doing today? Um, Daddy ran club the cabaret club for most of the day. Let's be real. Dolly, oh, recruited Dolly. Yes, awesome. I like recruiting the sub story ladies. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of want to do the cabaret club. Yeah, let's do the let's do the story oh, shit. God. Let's do that real real fast. And then, um, I'll come back and we can, uh, we can do some cabaret stuff if, if I feel up for it. Oh, our running man's still here. 
Hold on. I gotta help my friend. It's Aaron Coon. Looks like his feet are killing him again. I love the epic music and then it just stops so we can talk to this guy. Foot. What's wrong? Oh, hello. It's my feet. They're killing me again. I think I can walk again if I rest a while, but... Can't say I didn't warn you, right? You did. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're running errands again. I am. I have to deliver this absorbent sheet in a hurry. What am I gonna do? You got a major injury worse, didn't you? If you explain why you're late, she'll understand, won't she? She said she has plans. If I don't get it to her in a hurry, I might miss her. Do you think you could deliver this absorbent sheet to her? Is it too much to ask? She's gonna run Aaron Coon into the ground at this rate. Maybe you can set her straight. Okay, I'll do it. For you, I'll complete your simping. Where's your sweetheart at? She's waiting on the footpath along the river on the Sotenbury street side. I'm glad that'll be marked for me because I'm not gonna remember that shit. I'm Aaron Coon's Aaron boy now. Look at these drunk guys, they're in sync. Um, Sotenbury footpath. Okay, so we go up the bridge. That's perfect. We can do it on the way to the plot. Uh, run! Run, Majima! She has plans! We're gonna have to fight. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! It's, it's Mr. Shakedown! <laughs> I'll fight y'all later! It's Mr. Shakedown, I gotta leave! I, I cannot express enough how hard we will get our ass beat by that man. I'm not gonna do it. We're never gonna fight him. I have way more money than Mr. Shakedown could ever dream of having. Yeah, alright, we can fight. Here we go. It's like we have no pink glow. What's the point? Easy money. Alright, anyway, where was I going? This way. Alright, I believe the footpath is down here. Oh, I think there's something shiny down here, too. And a girl? I don't think this is our girl. I think this is another girl. Right? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, we can recruit this lady. Cute dress. What do you want? Like, what's the deal? Ladies perfume? Okay, I'll go find that. We need something with leopard print and ladies perfume. That's on our list of things to do. Probably I'll, I'll do them off stream. Dude, I've never been fishing in this game, not once. Probably for a reason. Where's Aaron Coon? I told him I needed that absorbent sheet like now. Foot. Sorry to keep you waiting. Excuse me, who are you? Aaron couldn't hurt his foot and he can't run on it, so he begged me to get this to you. Is that right? Well, whatever works, thanks. <sighs> How about a little concern for the guy? It don't bother you at all? He's in pain? Yo, Emmy, what's the hold up? Oh, Tomokun. Sorry, Aaron Kuhn was kind of slow today. Oh, no. This man here brought what we needed, so we're good. <sighs> nice, man. I was getting really sweaty, too. <laughs> Anything for you, Tomokun? Oh my god, Aaron Kun is running errands for a girl who's running errands for a guy? Better whip that Aaron Kun into shape, though. Gotta give him some tough love so he's never late again. No problem. What the shit? Wasn't it you who requested that? Aaron Kun thought he was doing it for you, so he busted his ass to get it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what Tomokun wants, I want to. We're totally going steady now. <laughs> Aaron Coon's usually good at his job. Quick, courteous, and free. Of course he doesn't know or an item now. These assholes, they don't give a rat's ass about Aaron Coon. 
Let's the movie start soon, Tomokun. We better go. Come on, babe. Boy. Hey, before you go, I'm gonna need you two to make me a promise. Oh? We don't owe you shit, man. What do you want? Aaron Kun has run his last errand for you. This stops now. You already got plenty out of him. Now let him go and stop toying with his feelings. Ah. Why would I make a promise like that? A good errand boy is tough to find these days. Ah. You shouldn't talk so big, stick man. Tomokun could wipe the smirk off your face real easy. This, this schlub? Hell no. I wipe my ass with guys like Tomokun. Ah. You wanna get it on? Cool, cool. You can be my personal errand boy. Then we'll have two. <laughs> You win, I'll run errands for you all over town. Bare ass naked with the property of Tomokun tattoo. You're gonna regret talking shit. We're literally gonna kill this man. Huh? Anyway, you were saying <laughs> who's gonna be your errand boy? Go. What do you say about making that promise? Or do you need more convincing? I will, I will, I promise. I won't ever make him run errands again. I'm so sorry. Wait, Tomo Kun, what about the movie? <sighs> Managed to get him to stop abusing Aaron Kun's generosity, but I, do I tell him the truth? Of course oh. I do. But ain't Aaron Kun, you okay to be running I again? A little rest was all I needed. Anyway, did you get the observant sheet to her? I made the drop, but... But... I gotta tell him the truth. Well, I hate saying this, but that woman actually has a boyfriend. I know! You don't need to say anymore. I actually saw her walking around with this handsome looking guy the other day. She looked happy. I couldn't ask her about him. I was afraid of learning the truth. Aaron Coon. Still, it kind of rips your heart out to know for sure. Maybe this is the reality check I needed. I'm not going to run any more errands for her. Good, that's for the best. Who knows what'll happen when I fall for the next girl, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Nothing wrong with being the kind of guy a girl can depend on. It's all about respect. If you both have an equal share of it, then nothing can tear you apart. <laughs> Here's hoping the next lady you fall for treats you with the same love and care you got for her. I... Yes, I can't thank you enough. You gave me medicine, these sneakers, and you did so much more. Ain't much in the grand scheme of yeah. things. Simply not true. If only I could repay you for your kindness somehow. Do you got like ladies perfume or a leopard print anything? <laughs> really got a thing for I... running. I would love to ask you to buy me something real quick, but I can't do that, I suppose. Alright, let's skedaddle. Oh. Yes, actually. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's just gonna get me food, though. Delicious. I wanted a cheetah print outfit, but that'll do. Leopard print, whatever. Alright, let's quit stalling. Let's go see the boob toucher. Hi, Ben. Welcome back. Give me a second here. I'll just be a moment. Hi! Uh, could you just, just hold that thought? Hi, Ben! What are you doing? You gonna lay down? You gonna lay down all the way over there? Oh, Ben said, fuck cat cam. <laughs> and the gift of M Makoto's dead body? I guess. I guess I did receive those things. Please, the boss is waiting for you. I'm here I thought I'd have to fight my way in. It's so funny, guys. Let me in on the joke. Good. 
Yeah, you Great. like it there, huh? Ugh, gross. Oh, fuck. Let me in on the action, too. You're so bad. Just this once, okay? Ew, you're hard. You bet your ass I am. Not okay, let me go. Yeah, you can only touch my tits if you don't get hard. <laughs> How like much until it's okay, sugar? Hmm, let's see. Five, ten grand a second. And a mill buys me a minute forty. He's like, that's plenty of time. I can bust in under two minutes. <laughs> Sexual contact is prohibited in this establishment, sir. Boss. Oh. So you're Majima Kun. Listen up, pal, you gone, kill the mood. Nevertheless, those are our rules. So terribly sorry. Your boss is a scary guy, huh? Damn straight. What kind of manager is gonna let you ruin everyone else's night with this bullshit? You got me all wrong. I ain't the type to do you like that. Play this fair and square, you know? Got your staff and I rented the place out for myself. Wow. Money. Alright. You're gross, but you can keep giving me money if you'd like. Don't wave them off. Talk to them with words. They're people. Way I figure it. You don't want people hearing what we say here either. So I cleared the place out. Pretty goddamn considerate, wasn't it? Come on, come on, sit. Man deserves a drink in his own bar now and again, no? Who are you? Me? I run a little outfit by the name of the Kiji clan. Kijun clan, maybe? Name's Nishitani. Omari Nishitani, retainer of the 5th Omi Alliance Chairman. Oh god, I can never read them out loud fast enough. I think you know what I want, Majima-kun. Where you got the little sweetheart stash? Um, nowhere. She's dead. So I had some guys pay the acupuncturist place a little visit to grab Makoto-chan, right? Came back saying you were too hot to handle. Here I am, handling things myself. You didn't want to lead in that idiot parade? Wait, I hear you're pretty strong, eh? They do love me, the strong type. Then you are my new favorite guys in a real fix, because he can't whack a lady. My heart just bled for you. It's almost cute, you know? You got all your marbles? No call for getting snotty now. Hear me out. We ain't after Makoto-chan's life. All we want with her is to have a nice, friendly conversation. Is there any chance I can get you to hand her over? What's the harm in that? You got the stiff they pulled from the river. Tell your client I'm, that's Makoto chan, you said. It's Sagawa, right? Big Mr. Owner of the Cabaret Grand. The brain dead chimpanzee ain't gonna figure out the bodies are fake and my lips are sealed. As long as I get Makoto chan on my hands, that secret stays with me. I'll carry it to the grave. Benefred? The one, the only. He's not feeling very social today, though. He's like, no. I will not look at the cat cam. Talk. Why is it you're after the girl? 
Can't help you with that one. I got a client I'm working for here too, though. It ain't like I don't get why you'd be curious. Got an idea. Why not try to beat it out of me? That's the whole reason you came here, ain't it? Hell yeah. I'm gonna break dance on your ass. Ow. Damn, don't even give me a second to get the first punch in. Hello? What gives Majima Ku an air problem? I can't hit a customer in my club. What the hell? Oh, my policy is manager. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, you're just a precious little gift that keeps on giving. It's not a predicament. Gotta respect your policy, Majima Kun. I also gotta fight you. I've got a real blood chub coming on. He's like, I gotta punch you. I'm too hard not to punch you. Yellow, copper, green. This is the manager of the Grand Cabaret. I got this whack job of a Yakuza in here right now, waving a big old knife around. No survey. He's definitely not a customer. He's a robber. Get down here quick, okay? Are you winning these games? Of course. Right now we're beating this man for info because he called the cops on himself. Bonafide robber, just ask the cops. Don't tell me that manager policy is convenient to censor robbers too. Gotta protect your own club, don't ya? So quit playing the tease and let me have it, Majima Kun. This ain't even about work anymore. Let's have some fun. All right, you and your heart on. Let's go, my man. Be nice to take a little break from work myself. Don't go letting me down now. All right, let's let's groove. this do anything for you, buddy? Ow. Ow. Watch where you're swinging that thing. It hurts. Oh, wow, F. Imagine missing that arm. Oh. My knife now, bitch. Oh my god. Ugh. So gross. Hold on. Give him one of these. Batter up. Oh god, we're fucking up. Oh, he just fell over. Perfect. Oh my god! It's a tactical lay on the ground move. There we go. Oh, little Ben. He's like, oh god, I, I came. A page from Voldo's book. It caught me off guard. I thought now was the time to kick him, and instead he cut me up. Never felt this way in my life. How are you even still talking? Police, don't move. Oh man, time's up already.
Alright, copper, I'm the big bad robber that's busted in on this place. Sorry to say it, but I caused a goddamn scene. Is this some kind of joke? Hold it, Nishitani. Let's hear that reason why you're after the girl. Who's giving the order? Gotta save a little fun for next time, big boy. I've decided you're my new favorite toy, Majima Kun. Gee, is this some kind of prank? All right, walk, pal. Just a prank, bro. Sir, what happened? That was the customer who rented the club out. Is he? His rental's up. Paid that much and he's already done? Yeah, shield the police, but Jim, tell the others to get ready to open. We're back to regular business. Uh, understood, sir. Well, the doors open as soon as we're ready. What will you do until then, sir? Me and the officer are rolling. Hit me if anything comes up. If I can, I'd like to go back to Club Sunshine. Please let me leave. Don't make me wait here. I hate that I can't run in this club, so if I go the wrong way because I don't want to be here anymore, I have to walk back in shame. Ugh, fine. It's upstairs. I want to run my other club. What's the point of being in this club? I can't even play a mini game with it. Oh, hey, ma'am. No, sorry, but before, you seemed like you'd be a good business, so I figured I'd make one little exception. We're open in shop, right? Upload calls in to some of our regular customers. No worries, girl. I get it. Get your bag. Don't fall, Ben. Careful. Oh, hi, Sagawa. Sagawa. Hey, myself at home. How long you been in here? This is after the cops busted in. Pretty wild scene down there on the floor. Hey? What's got me even more curious? Majima-chan, I thought I told you to call me when the job was done. I'm sorry, I've been really busy. The job? Makoto Makimura, you after? Saw the news. Leaving her floating down Sotenbori. Now that was a bold move. Why didn't you call me as soon as you were done? What happened to ABC, buddy? Always be coming. Look, I forgot. So just now I came up here to call you. Right, you forgot. Still, lots of sticky little details on this one, like the girl's body. I just can't figure it out. <clears throat> like, why go through the trouble of smashing her face in and then you turn around and leave her in a uniform? Can't tell if you're trying to hide who she is or broadcast it. Kind of funny, isn't it? I don't think it's that, that's funny. It was my first time killing somebody. I can barely even remember what I did. Still in shock? Well, I guess that's not impossible. It's a matter anyway. I did your job. You side of the bargains getting me back into the Tojo clan. You have that chat with Shimano yet? One more question before I do. The guy making a scene downstairs? What were you two fighting about? His name's Nishitani. You wouldn't know what to look at him, but he's Omi Alliance Brass, same as me. That's a group called Kijin Clan. Like, Ben is so adorable. He's like... His little head is sinking on my lap. Let's see if I can move him around. So you can see... You really can't see him. He's sunk. Hi, Ben. Sorry. I know. I'm a monster. I ruined it for you. 
He's only alliance? Ah. Yep. Only's got all kinds. Even by that standard, the kitchen comes are loose cannons. Not exactly team players. Or roll in on anybody's turf and do whatever they like. So various little band of troublemakers. I'm not saying I'm not a fan, though. Anyway, out of curiosity, why is the Kitchen Clan throwing down in your club? You got something with them? No clue. Do you have a drunken brawl? Maybe the guy wasn't used to drinking the good stuff. Well, can't say Nisha Town and getting smashed and picking a fight's anything new. Alright, fair enough. Been acting funny for a while now. I couldn't help but wonder if you were keeping secrets. How am I going to lie about? <laughs> Don't take it personally, but you're right. There's no way you can keep something from me. Because you still got the scars to remind you what would happen to you if you did. Okay, then I'll put that call to my oath, brother. And keep the fires burning and the prophets coming in here in the meantime. Got it? Got it. Big body's only gonna throw Sagawa off the trail so long. Hell, he may already be, be wise. I gotta talk to Lee in a hurry. Can I leave? Um... Shit, let's see if they'll let me run the club. So I did I wanted to do that one more time before we call them that. If we have to go down to Lee anyway, you know. Sometimes they really do just force you to do the plot though, which sucks. Hi Benjamin. What a tired little man. I'm gonna have to get up and in a minute here. Bad news for you. Oh no, it's this more plot? Man, I'm just on wait. How could I find you? You're the underground doc from the Mahjong parlor. Where's Lee Sun now? I must see Lee Sun right away. I don't know. I assumed he was at home. He needs drugs. Lee Sun run out of painkillers soon. He said he'd come get more, but never show up. Is he supposed to come see you? Something happened to him? I'm so worried. Where's Lisa? I'm not Doc. I was planning to have a little chat with him myself. Tell you what, I'll deliver your medicine. You got on, you know? Here, very strong painkiller. Take it. Please get it to him fast. When drugs are now, gunshot wounds cause him terrible pain. Too bad to move. Hurry, Manager son. Okay, thank you. Will do. The Odyssey Warehouse? Okay, but in the meantime, Lee can wait. We're gonna walk all the way down to Sunshine. Is there like a fancy shop over here? It's a drugstore. Darts and pool. Weapon and armor shop. Takoyaki convenience store. Imported brands? Uh, it's not really on the way. I'll probably I'll probably buy the cheetah print shit off stream. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh God, I can't I can't just walk away. Hold on. L let me just real quick. Right on the way down there. We'll just... They're scared now. Too late, man. Toughness light, sure. I'll be sure to give that away to somebody who asked for medicine. Thank you. Oh no, I don't want to fight you though. Oh fuck. <laughs> it don't matter. I hope Mr. Shakedown isn't over here. He was. In this general vicinity at one point. It seems like he really likes to hang out by the arcade area. Because that's where he always is. 
But I think it's random. You guys are so unlucky to keep hanging out in the same spot. Move your break dancing ass over here. There we go. Ow. Stop punching me! I'm getting into the groove! Oh, he moved too far away. Just give him one of those. There we go. Alright, anyway. Goodness, the audacity. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, he didn't like that. I'm busy! I don't want to fight! I'm busy! No! We gotta go to work! <laughs> Got him! Alright. Let's do a round. Yes, please. And then we'll call it after this. He's gotta swap Yuki out for sure. She's pooped. Here to open. Cast on duty. Yuki, I know you're tired. We'll get I in here. Every oh, she's not. Kyoko's doing bad. Um. Akemi? Oh, Akemi's got a lot of talk and skill. Okay. What do we need here? 53 skill? And party are the lowest. These girls could work if they need to. I don't. I'll try my best though. I don't know. What do you want for dinner? Okay, I was gonna make something after this. I don't know what though. If huh? If you want, otherwise I was gonna say you probably saw that baking, and I could make that. Yeah, just start soaking it. I should have done it earlier, but it's probably gonna be a minute. Um, we need skill and party. I mean, of course we're gonna put our new our new girl to the work, of course. Um, skill and party. Okay, this one will have party on. Um, she's fine, but she, I wanted her to rest. She's not doing so hot. She's got skill and love. This gal's already selected. Oh, this girl's perfect. She doesn't have skill, but party's good enough for me. Um, we'll do special training next time. Let's open for business. We already did Mars close. So let's move on to Jupiter. I got dinners too. Okay, next. I'm gonna end real yes, soon, sir. so hopefully you come back we'll before some. then. I hope it's yes, something sir. tasty. All right. It, it does look a bit different, doesn't it? It's like orange. I think I'm gonna swap back to the strawberry. He likes party. She can party. Thank you. She is cute, isn't she? Those bangs are a mess, though. I hate to say it. Party? Oh my god, they love partying. Um, yeah, take this gal. She'll party with you. She also has disaster bangs. Um, that would be a lady's glass. Help, please. That would be a guest glass. Love? Oh, he loves that. She's got love, too. I try to save our best girl for last, so let's do that. He likes her. Even though she doesn't look funny, he's willing to compromise. Um, wants a party. Okay, I'll just give you a gift. 
enjoy. It's gonna start slow. We're in a new area. I'll probably grind this out later. Alright, this guy likes to party. Seems to be the theme in this area. We're definitely gonna have to recruit some new people. This is where my orange girl comes in handy. She loves to party. Um, short session. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a thank you. I don't know if we'll make it past level one, so let's just pop for now. Wealthy, okay. Okay, she's the best one that we got for you. Check, please. Um, praise girl. Let's get her recovered a bit. Yeah, we're we lacking in skill. Sucks our first wealthy customer. Want skill. Party, he's got average. Okay, he likes her. Throw her at him. Alright, what's this guy about partying? We need better party girls. This is all I got. She doesn't look funny, so he hates her. Check, please. Already? Uh, he wants short sessions, so he's probably gonna say no to extending. Let's just give him a gift. Um, this guy's average. Yes, I thought he would like her a bit more. Alright, this guy wants to party. Okay, he likes these two the best. I'll give this chick to him. Check, please. I can do that. Um, uh, it's always the long sessions that I don't get to extend. I'm gonna give her a reward. She's pretty pooped. Bum, 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 bum. All right, and then short session. Thank you. Bye. Guest glass. We're about to hit fever. Be nice to have another guest in, but I guess not. I kind of love the idle hair on her. It looks cute. Very 80s for sure. Okay, we got another table. That's good. Let's get him seated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for that. We're in a party. Get everybody in fever mode, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, where's this guy sitting over here? Party? Oh my god, we need more party to support this uh this area for sure. Help please, I can do that. Okay, you need an ashtray. What can I do for ya? That's a gas glass fiber did see one. Still haven't had any guests act out. Sometimes guests will just get really fucking pissed. I'm surprised. Maybe it's because we're ma matching them with um, cute girls that they like. They just are a little happier. Um, wants to party. Okay, um... Let's praise her for doing great. She she really carried that one. Figured, you know, we got six seconds left. Might as well. Alright, get the fuck out. It's closing time. You did alright. It's 
good for a first time targeting this uh, audience, I would say. We gotta work on our party gang, that's for sure. Everybody really likes partying. I like to keep it balanced either way. I think that's the smart way to go. All right, um, well, let's go to the phone and I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna go look at who's live today. <gasps> oh my God, we unlocked the radio show. Oh my God, okay, we'll do that real quick. What's with this music? I love the radio show, it's so fun. Guess one of the girls at the radio on. Let's talk about absent minded. Sheesh. Where's the damn off switch? This button here? Whoa, what the hell? How you doing everybody? It's showtime. I'm your host, Dose Kamiya. I got it right, nice. All I did was change the station. As always, we kick off the show with shoutouts to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Oh, hi, Megu. You came just in time for me to raid somebody. I'm so sorry. But we're gonna do this. I don't know if you- I know you were playing Yakuza t uh, 0 a while ago. I don't know- oh, I forgot. I don't have a quick thing set up for this. I don't know if you ever got to the radio show, but I think it's cute. I'm doing alright. A bit hungry now. Here's Dulce Camilla's Dulce de Postcard. The DJ's voice is killing me. Where's the damn off switch? Today's featured postcard is from our listener, the Thinking Driver San. Hi, Dulce Camilla San. I listen to your show all the time. Hello to you too, and thanks. I have a girlfriend I adore, but this morning at breakfast we got into a huge fight. That doesn't sound like a complete part of anyone's morning. The argument was over what kind of condiment you put on a sunny side up egg. Well, you got into a fight over that? Jesus. People really argue over what goes on a fried egg? Come on. He used so soy sauce like any self respecting Japanese man, but she used tonkatsu sauce. Can you believe that? Well, everyone has their preferences. I wouldn't use any sauce. That's the. I get her in dry. Put a little salt and pepper on there. Bam. That's it. Some people eat ketchup with their eggs. That's gross. What do you put on your eggs, Kamiya san? <laughs> the thinking driver san. We're making a monstrous boo boo by fighting with your girl over something like that. I think you need to apologize for being so saucy. Whoa. By the way, I put ketchup on my fried eggs. <laughs> You're sick. Hell's with this goofy ass radio show. They actually read postcards live on the air about this drivel? Would you look at this? That's the third postcard we've read on the air from the Thinking Driver's Son. Congratulations. Thinking Driver's Son, we'll have a fantabulous prize heading your way. I'm not saying what, but it's worth a cool million yen. What the? Million yen? It's time already? Too bad, so too sad. But that's our show for today, folks. See you next time. Goodbye, and see you next time. Lunatic's gonna fork over a million yen just for writing in his radio show? What a world we live in. It makes you question the value of money. Even worse, they really read postcards about fried eggs? Fight live on the air? I bet I could write in and be twice as interested. Oh. Hey, Majima-san, is Dulce Camilla's show's over already? Oh. Yeah, he went off the air, actually. First time I'd heard it, but that stuff's bonkers. <laughs> I think it's entertaining. It shows down for the pointless postcard he reads and his silly commentary. It really makes you want to tune every every day. <sighs> you know, we had an expert in the house. That means you're one of the guilt. You're the one guilty of leaving the radio on. Oh, sorry. I heard the ad for Camille's show and it gave me an idea for a postcard to write in. I went out and bought some, actually. Now I forgot what I was going to write in about. I know it was amusing, though. I'm writing in, Nuki chan Ever get a postcard read on the air? Kind of doubt it, knowing you. Not yet, but I will. There's tons of people who write in, you know. It's not as easy as it sounds. I bet I could get on there as easy as snapping my fingers and clicking my heels. Find them, Majima-san. Put your money where your pen is. I'll leave some postcards on the table. Consider it done. Three postcards read live on the air and a million yen. Coming right up. It's already in the bag. <laughs> Everyone thinks that at first. Just don't cry if you don't make the cut, okay? Give me some time. I'm gonna cook up some humble pie and serve it to you cold, Majima-style. Is a tale worth sharing on radio? I ought to write it on a postcard. Hell yes! Alright, we're gonna write a postcard. I think we can only do one at a time. Let's see. Some of them won't get you, um... 
read on air, unfortunately. Um, Goro Majima, Goro, Goro, Goro Chan, or Angel of Darkness? I want to go with Goro, Goro, Goro Chan. I want something catchy that still says it's me. Goro, Goro, Goro Chan. It's, I got my name. Lots of goes. And that's all I do. Perfect. Want to scribble off a postcard of Dulce Camilla's radio show? Write a postcard. So what do I write about? Got a lot, for sure. Um, I let's do let's do the heart necklace. That's a good one. All right about the fellow who got a fake heart necklace made for his girlfriend. Let's see now. There we go. Oh. Hey Yuki Chan, can I get you to drop this postcard in the mail later? Isn't that for Dulce Camilla's show? Can't you mail it yourself? A little busy with this and that, Yuki Chan. Can you do me a solid? All right, I'll mail it for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Is it actually dethawed all the way? Um, I don't know if it's dethawed. You have to. But it's pretty. It's like a lot softer. Set it water. into water. That's what I did. Cold water. Cold water. Okay. I just said hot water. <laughs> yeah, cold water. Is it in cold water? Uh, it's in the it's in the bathroom sink. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can keep writing them. No, we can only do one at a time, and then we'll we'll see next time we come in here um, if it got read. All right, let's see who's streaming tonight. I'm gonna have to dip right away too, which is a bummer. I hate reading and dipping. I feel bad. Who do we have this evening? So late too, oh my god. Bioshock, Valorant, Elden Ring. Everybody out here playing Elden Ring. Damn shame. Second playthrough? Oh my god, Zod. I went to this game crawl like two weeks ago. I think like a week. I don't even think it was I think weeks. it's been two weeks at least. Um last time we read it Zod. I read Schwampy a lot though. Though I do want to see some Bioshock too. Oh well, let's let's say hi to uh to Zod again. Let's see some uh Elden Ring. Our favorite game. Saturn? Is Saturn live? Oh shit, Saturn is live. Dude, hell yeah. I didn't even see her. Uh, th if you were looking at this fucking list of streamers, you would lose some too. Yeah, hell yeah. I didn't know Saturn was live. Let's say hi to Saturn then. Um, we got our raid calls. Make sure to copy and paste those. If you have my emotes, you got that one. If you don't, You've got that guy. I'm just gonna make sure I remember to copy and paste because I forget. And then let's, let's fucking read Saturn. I want Saturn. Playing Valorant, so I have no idea what's going on. Oh, follower or only subscribe. Okay, that's fine though. I, I imagine most of us follow Saturn anyway. Um. I will definitely be live Sunday. Mm, I might be live tomorrow with the Akasa, but Sunday will be Golden Sun for sure. Um, 